Today's podcast is brought to you by Audible.com. Get a free audiobook download and 30-day free trial at www.audibletrial.com slash T-W-I-K. Transform your commute, workout, or chores with over 180,000 titles to choose from for your smartphone or tablet. Welcome, my genius, to episode 74 of This Week in K-Pop. In this episode, we will talk about Girls' Day, Girls' Generation, GOT7, Jay Park, Sonamu, Stellar, and more. My name is Steven, and with me is my regular co-host, Josh. Hello. This Week in K-Pop is a discussion podcast that covers the last two weeks of K-Pop music video releases. And each week, Josh and I will pick what we think is the best song of the episode. Yeah, sometimes it's a discussion podcast. Sometimes it's just us rambling. Yes, um, and some people like the discussion yes. ones more than the rambling. Some people like, like the rambling. rambling ones. Yeah. Um, I, I don't know what type surprised. this one will be. Yeah. Um, because the, it was a really big two weeks. Um, of course, last episode was a really really big two weeks. Last episode had a yeah. lot of songs that I think we really really liked. Yeah. Uh, and we had Mina here to kind of mm-hmm. talk to her about it. Um, and this episode was also a big week, yeah. but we didn't like remotely the same amount of songs. Yeah. I think. I feel like we had generally good feelings about just the songs in general. Like, we hated not as many songs, but uh, definitely not as strong, I would say, uh, outing as last week's or last yeah. podcast, I should say. Yeah, and I think there's a really interesting... I think uh, one of our commenters kind of pointed out that uh, this kind of uh, summer, you know, gangbang that's yeah. been going on, Basically gangbang, yeah. um, which... I mean, there's always more releases in the summer, but it's never been so focused like I feel this it's, year has yeah, been. It's, it's really um, dense with the releases. Yeah, and, and I think this is such a great, like, like crazy time because there's so many people that are like, this is my favorite song, and this is my favorite song, this yeah. is my favorite song. And then I'm like, well, that song is, I don't like it all, and that song I don't like it all. It's yeah. like, there's so many tastes uh, yeah. that it's pretty crazy. Um, yeah. But that also does mean that, you know, sometimes there's a lot of, big songs that are coming out and we're just like eh? <laughs> yeah and what, what's really interesting i find steven is that they're kind of the same genre of songs like summer songs you know they're supposed to be a little bit more fun they're supposed to be a little bit laid back mm-hmm. sometimes or sometimes clubby and dancey mm-hmm. but from one like type of specific genre right like this is summer k-pop music mm-hmm. like people have a lot of different opinions about a lot of different songs yeah so yeah. it's it's really interesting to find uh one person kind of defend themselves well not necessarily defend we're not attacking them but kind of give us the reasons why they like a certain song why i think that song is like the strongest release they've heard out of this whole you know herd of songs yeah and even steven and i i feel like we have a uh, different kind of tastes for once when it comes to summer songs this time around uh um, last episode definitely yeah uh but this episode actually we have yeah uh, the opposite which is that we both chose the yeah. same song yeah. uh which we try not to do yeah um yeah if you're a long time listener you know that uh we there are many times where i'm like you know josh's would have been my pick of the week mm-hmm. but we wanted to keep things different mm-hmm. uh but this week we were both like so sure on the pick of the mm-hmm. week and then the second choice was pretty far from the first choice that we both picked the same song yeah like we the second choice for both of us was just so far below this song we just couldn't get to that point where it's yeah. like okay you can pick that song this was yeah. a resounding this is the song of the week. Mm-hmm. And uh, that is Got7 with Just Right. Mm-hmm. Now, Got7, um, not as popular of a boy group in Korea, which is strangely enough, right? We mentioned it a few times in previous podcasts, right? Steve? Yeah, they're insanely popular internationally. Like, yeah. their YouTube videos, you know, this this is 7 million views, which is crazy. It's a lot of views, um, yeah. That's a lot for a boy band, especially a relatively new one. Yeah. Um, which, which, you know... They're not, you know, new, 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 but they're pretty new. You know, they're less sub two years, right? Yeah, they're, they're kind of like sophomore level yeah. of K-pop release yeah. rank groups. Um, but, you know, prior to Jackson getting a, a decent amount of fame, really nobody in Korea really knew about GOT7. Yeah. Um, and even after that, they know Jackson more than they know Got seven. Yeah, um, definitely. They're really happens. not that big here. Yeah, they don't chart very high. Um, most of our mi- my middle school students, whenever we have games, they wouldn't. Got seven, which mm-hmm. just isn't even in their like priority list. Yeah. Um, 
And I mean, yours is the same, right? Yeah. Um, so we really like GOT7. Yeah, uh, we really you know, like GOT7, actually. Um, uh, really liked uh, A. Uh, yeah. A is still... A. Like, I really, really do like this song. Oh, that song was um, so fun. Their last song was a pile of poop, do- uh, poop nuggets. Uh, was it? Um, ha, 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 hajima. It was... It was... Auto-tune, auto-tune, auto-tune. That's what that song was. Yeah, it was way too much auto-tune. Um, even though Mina did like that song, right? She, she said yeah, she, she, she kind of like was down with that. Um, so, you know, after that song, I was like, all right, got seven... You know, it's the summertime. There's been a lot of releases. I wonder what, you know, they have up their sleeves. Mm-hmm. And they, like, they, they like, there was, like, a cannon of awesomeness that just shot out of them. Literally. Literally um, a cannon of awesomeness all over the face. All over. It got in my eye. Got it <sighs> over his eye. I helped, you know, clean it off with the handkerchief that I, I always carry. Do people carry handkerchiefs? I carry a handkerchief. You carry a, a sweat towel you don't carry I actually a carry, so oh you carry well, like I, a handkerchief yeah i carry a handkerchief and i also sometimes when i'm eating really spicy food i bring a towel yeah i mean i've seen a sweat towel yeah you've seen um, a sweat towel you, but, can't, uh, you have one right now uh not with me right now uh, well i thought you're gonna normally, bust it out and prove no, it wrong yeah normally when i go to school i i bring them with me oh yeah just because like it gets kind of hot but not hot enough for like sweat towel anyways you know in korea i yeah. un- i totally understand uh, yeah. a handkerchief yeah back home uh, i didn't i didn't have one because people don't turn on AC. Like right yeah. now, it's like 90 billion degrees with 100% humidity. And yeah, you're trying close. to teach. And ain't no air con on. And, and you just sweat. Everything's sweating. It, it literally feels like you're breathing jello. It's so humid. Yeah. 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 Uh, but anyways, so yeah. GOT7, a breath of a, a breath of fresh AC air all up in oh, our, our seriously. faces. Seriously. Um, so tell me why you like this. Uh, um, yeah, I... I, I really can't say anything bad about this whole song concept or music video or dance because, uh, you know, Steven and I, we usually kind of break it down into a few few mm-hmm. parts. Um, but just starting with the song, I find it really, really catchy. It's got some, like, like repetition in there that's like really catchy, like, no, 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 or like, na, 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 na. And that is really, really catchy. I mean, you look at, like, Hey Jude, like mm-hmm. one of the most catchy songs of all time. And people remember that part in Hey Jude, right? Nah, nah. And, like, this kind of has that kind of catchiness. And also, uh, it's it has it's at a certain pitch that I find really, really nice to listen to for me. Um, I, I really can't explain it, but it, it's at a key or a pitch that's just really good. Uh, the the rapping is, is pretty okay. It kind of sounds a little bit... Um, like half choking, half serious, and that's okay because it kind of matches the whole uh, song Concept and music. Of, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, what did you feel about the song, Stephen? Um, I, I think the best part of the song is, is kind of what you said. It, it's the, I don't know what the sound engineering, the 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 key that, oh, yeah, the voices. I don't know what. Um, because a lot of times in K-pop songs, like I feel like the voices and the way they filter the voices, the way they affect the voices, yeah. like they don't really match the they song. They don't sound quite right. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't sound quite right. Um, but for this song, like I don't know what it was, but like it sounded so clear, like very crisp. Yeah, very crisp. I don't know yeah. what it was. Like mm-hmm. I didn't all of a sudden get better speakers, but like no. it sounded like. And, and there's such a great dichotomy of. The, the singer's yeah. higher voice yeah. and the rapper's low voice. Yeah. Like, both timbers are in, like, this weird, like, alternate matching, like... it's They just mm-hmm. match so well yeah. that I was just like, this is fucking smooth, yeah. man. Like, this song, I felt, was really made for GOT7. Mm. Like, uh, even me and Steven were saying this song really sounds like a B1A4 kind of song, but... I don't think B1A4 could to sing it better than GOT7 could. Because mm. GOT7 has the right amount of like rappers and the, the right pitch and tones of voices. And the harmonies like are, are on point. Mm. And B1A4, don't get me wrong, I love B1A4. And they have really good voices. But like GOT7 really just killed this song. It's so good. Yeah. yeah. I mean, when I mentioned B1A4, I was more talking about the concept. Yeah. Uh, because it's been a while since B1A4 has done a super fun concept like this yeah you know really colorful and yeah like really colorful yeah. really fun um, kind of. and that's what i kind of like b1a4 for yeah and then they kind of went 
oh, you know, they were a little bit more serious. And yeah, then a little more serious. They yeah. had that summer one, mm-hmm. you know, solo day, which was kind of in between. It was like fun, but not this kind of fun. You now, know? It was fun, but not whimsical. Like, yeah, away from yeah, kind of yeah. this kind of like fantasy yeah. a little bit, sort of. Like, it's like, and but it's really like, it's, they're very playful. Yeah. You know, especially their first, you know, couple of songs. It's like yeah. the dance, very playful. Music video is very playful. Mm-hmm. And I think GOT7 is kind of picking up on that. Yeah. Uh, where they left off, and, and I thought they did a really good job. Um, yeah. uh, but I will say, though, that um, this is, even though I, I really did enjoy the song, mm. uh, especially when paired with the music video and the concept and the dancing, yeah. uh, this is not really a song that I'm probably going to be listening to in a month. Yeah. Like, it's really fun right now, um, yeah. but, you know, I it's also a song where I kind of need to be in, in a very specific mm. mood for. Yeah. Uh, you know, I do most of my music listening while walking home or walking mm. somewhere uh, or, or driving. And, and uh, this is not really the, the song that I'm going to, you know, be bumping to, I, yeah. I don't think. You know, I kind of um, agree with you, Steven, because this song is, for me, the epitome. Uh, it's like the perfect boy group summer song mm, for me. Mm. And uh, sometimes you don't want to listen to summer songs like right. in yeah. when it's the rest of the year, right? Yeah. Like, me and Steven, we love Sistar, but we won't necessarily listen to Loving You when it's like, you know, 10 degrees outside, right? Yeah, we, we probably really, would. Maybe. I love that song so we much. We really love that song. I, I mean, that, I, I understand that, that for us is like the best summer song, but yeah. this song, you kind of need no, no, it to no. be... It's the second best after Hotmail, SM Town, third time around. Yeah. The we beat. got the beat that'll make you want to get down. Oh, God. I love dude. that song. <laughs> no. God damn, that's my favorite song. song. Uh, seriously, never heard it. SM Town. It's called Hotmail. No, like Hot the Mail. email client. Um, it was like, I think SM. SM used to do like a compilation. Yeah, collab. Collab album. With all their. With all their artists yeah. that are no longer here anymore. Mm. Uh, well, I guess Bo is still here and, yeah. and DBSK is still here and Randos. But it's my favorite song. Anyways. Um, but yeah, this, so going back to this concept, yeah, um, the concept is kind of like uh, is is for me a wonderful concept. Um, it is something that if you don't do it right, it sounds really cheesy. Mm-hmm. But I feel like they did it in a way that's kind of like, okay, yeah, you know what, you're right, God Seven, I I get you. It, it seems sincere, mm-hmm. right? Like because like the One Direction song just kind of reminds me of the same kind of genre of like oh you're beautiful that's what makes you beautiful you don't know you're beautiful but that's like really superficial that song but this song is it's basically kind of like hey you know you're you're fine the way you are you're perfect the way you are like you don't have to change a thing like you're just right yeah you're just right you're just right for me and that's that's a great message especially in k-pop nowadays because k-pop and a lot of Korean culture sometimes, it's just all about appearance. Um, yeah, and it's usually not. the onus is on the male to kind of drop everything mm-hmm. and change completely uh, for the female. That's usually yeah. how it goes. Um, and and like you know, in Korea, like you have to put your picture on your resume. It's very like visual kind of base. To be fair, though, like. People care about, like, people, you know, you're not co- allowed to in America, right? Yeah, uh, to discriminate. Yeah. yeah. And, you know, I I totally understand, like, there are plenty of businesses that actually, like, will weed through resumes right before pictures. Mm-hmm. And then you meet, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, Korea is kind of like, fuck all pretenses. Like, we want your picture right now. Yeah. We want to look at it right now. But the problem is, is then they just all Photoshop the pictures. Yeah. <laughs> Which is like... Which makes sense, right? Yeah. That's what you would do, right? Yeah, like yeah. if you if you were required a picture, like yeah, why not Photoshop it? But so it kind of defeats the purpose. Yeah, but how many of our friends we look at the Photoshop picture and we're like, who is this? <laughs> yeah, it's like yeah, it's like I don't know this? who the fuck this is. Yeah, right. Um, and, and that's really like disheartening, but it is kind of something that's ingrained to humans. That's like, if someone is attractive, yeah. you're just nicer to that person, or you think yeah. that they're more kind, right? Yeah. And I'm I'm glad God Seven um, is kind of uh, bringing this concept of you're you know you're all right the way you are especially because they brought a really young girl well not really young girl but a young enough yeah. girl who's probably going through 
like, like puberty, puberty or some changes and yeah. these guys are singing to her and saying hey you're, you're you're perfect the way you are you're just right yeah, i think she has like some like freckles or something mm-hmm. and she's trying to like, like massage them, them off yeah. with it's a weird vibrator thing. Yeah. Um, or it looks like she's trying to shave her beard or yeah. exfoliate her skin. I don't know what it is, but... Yeah. Um, yeah, so that's really cool. Or at least... I mean, maybe not GOT7, but at least the songwriters, uh, whoever yeah. that may be. Could yeah. be members of GOT7, I don't know. Yeah. And, um, and, it's, and they kind of spin it in a way that's fun, right? No, and it's no. a summary, and it's not too serious, but it's kind of like really uplifting. No. And I, I really, really want to say, like, great job, JYP, great job, Caught seven and songwriters promoting this, um, and the concept is really fun, right? Mm-hmm. You know, they they're kind of wearing kind of funky clothes, but well, we really haven't matches. we haven't talked about the music video. Uh, oh, so we should. I, so yeah. I want to do it real quick because we okay. spend all, too much time on this. Uh, but the music video, like uh, you know, I think it's the like uh, last episode I said that mm-hmm. like um, BTS, uh, BTS yeah. is, you know, uh, dope was like the best music video I've ever seen. Still is the best music video. I think it's quite that, good, that yeah. I've ever seen. Uh, but this is like the best version of the, uh, we still need to see cute guys every once in a while. Yeah. Fun concept version. Like it's like the pop version. Yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Not, not the dance version, right? The, mm. uh, even though they, they do great, like, like, long shots uh, that you know we're not talking about one shots uninterrupted but uninterrupted of the dance like yeah. uninterrupted of the the people like um and i think it does a very good job with that but like it also does this amazing job of like selling that they're miniature figures yeah. like it's really good whoever green screen and edited it and and whatever the yeah. hell you movie the, magic you need to do yeah the props yeah. like it looked really really believable in a weird way because usually k-pop videos are not remotely believable right yeah especially um, when it comes to green screen they're quite bad at that yeah I yeah find. so i thought they did such a really good job with the music video like yeah like you know film you know film. what I, you know what i think it is i think a lot of time when you have like miniature things or kind of things that are supposed to be like not the right size mm-hmm. Um, they really get the lighting really wrong. Mm. And in this video, like, the lighting is just done very well. No. Like, the shadows that the objects cast and the shadows that they cast are, like, also proportional. Mm. And they're also proportional to size. And little things like that, when you're just watching it the first time, it doesn't really hit you. Mm. But I've seen this video, like, a few times, and I'm just like, oh, that's what it is. It's, like, the, really the lighting and the, the way they the angle the props. No. And it's just really done well production-wise. No. Uh, I'm really happy with this song. Like, mm-hmm. I kind of wish, you know, their last song uh, didn't exist uh, mm-hmm. because this would have been a great follow-up to oh, A. to A, yeah. Um, but then again, that, that's just me. I mean, yeah. I think there are plenty of people uh, who like... Got seven fans that yeah. like that uh, that other song. Um, uh, but again, in Korea, no, it, um, you know, yeah. there was a kind of... Even this song, like, even though I think it charted okay-ish, Decent, um, not even that great. But like, I think it's like in the twenties, you know, mm-hmm. in the thirties, mm-hmm. uh, probably be gone in a couple of weeks. Um, but uh, so, God Seven's got a lot of work to do, I think, in Korea. But I think there's a really great international uh, uh, song, yeah. Yeah. you know, to make some inroads. I think. Yeah. Um, a little weird that you know they come out with with all the the gangbusters. You know, maybe if they waited a couple of weeks, they could like yeah, get the done... chart kind of by themselves. You know. Yeah. Um, I think but... it's just because they had so much competition. Yeah, uh, but wouldn't you want to wait? Straight. Like, if there's yeah. so much competition, I don't understand like why they they could have unless, you know, they scheduled it. Uh, maybe it's something financial. Maybe, um, maybe, maybe they got it. They already planned it all yeah. out, and they didn't realize that 18 other groups were coming out. Yeah. Oh, I, I just want to. I just want to talk about the uh, the outfits and the dance really quickly before we move on. Uh, the outfits that are a little bit kind of outlandish and like mismatchy, mm-hmm. but it really really fits the theme of like fun and color and all mm. that so i actually think that it's well done outfit um coordinator mm. uh they all have different outfits and they all kind of really fit the theme mm. and the dance is really 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 stupidly fun mm. uh it's really like you can copy it like very easily yeah and um it's like the complete opposite of the you know dope and and, yeah. and, and, and it, those ones you have to kind of like watch and like 
study and kind of like, okay, I got to put my hand this way. And this yeah. is, at this one, you're just kind of like, oh, I know what to do. Yeah. Like, you know what to do. And that for me is what I really like about K-pop sometimes. It's that dances and the singing are really mimicable. Mm. Like mm. you can copy them very easily and that makes you like them more. At least for me. If I can yeah. sing a song, I like it more. If I can dance to a song, I like it more. And uh, their facial expressions though, hilarious. It, it's it, it goes a long way in selling like they're just having a fun time. Yeah, hilarious. I really like it. Because even though, you know, like some, you know, B2B also kind of has a fun image. Mm-hmm. Block B also kind of has a fun image. Although now it's more of a, a we bit. crazy as fuck yeah. image. Like th- both of those groups right still kind of do a little like, yo, we hard, like mm-hmm. kind of in the middle of it. But like this is just straight up like we just having fun mm-hmm. and, and, you know, we Orders much having prefer fun that. and you're beautiful, basically. Yeah. You're just... You talking about the dudes or the song? Oh, everything actually. <laughs> I don't end up with that zebra. Um, but all right, well, let's move on uh, to probably the biggest release. Um, um, definitely not the best release, uh, and that is Girls' Generation's new song, "Party." Quote and or California girl. And or California girl, yeah. <laughs> As you said, um, so Girls' Generation. Uh, this, uh, I guess. Is ten is technically their second release as as eight, right? Um, yeah, because Catch Me If You Can was, I guess, quote unquote, their yeah. first one. Yeah. Um, but that one, as you know, if you're fans and you 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 know you're on Reddit or all K-pop, you know that there is a version of that with, with Jessica. Jessica, the Japanese version. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna assume this one's this one's the really their first one yeah. as a as not eight eight. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, you know. I kind of want to go first, but I kind of don't. So, okay. Josh, since Girls' Generation is your Wonder Girls, right? They are yeah. your first love. They mm-hmm. are your, you know, when you closed your eyes and you were thinking about a girl while touching your dick, it was probably Girls' Generation uh, two years ago. Um, now, not so much. What did you think? Um, so, I guess we'll start with the song. The song is really, really catchy. I'll give them that. It's very, very catchy in a kind of summary way. Uh, as Steven mentioned, it really sounds like Katy Perry's uh, California Girls. I mean, not it doesn't sound exactly like it, but the way they kind of arrange the song and the build-ups and the chorus and the way they kind of... The key yeah, is Yeah, the key is sounds the very same. California Girls. Like, I could layer California Girls onto this song and it won't sound too different. Um, so it's got a catchiness to it, but I didn't really like California Girls either. It was just so catchy, it couldn't get out of my brain. Mm. Um, and this song is the same, but I feel like this song, uh, it, if any other girl group did it, it could be just as catchy. Um, and it's mm. it's it has so much success right now because uh, Girls' Generation is just a huge group. They have a huge fandom. And it's a catchy song, and the soul ones were just like waiting for something to like kind of back, right? Because Catch yeah. Me If You Can, let's be honest, it wasn't that great of a song. Like a lot of the, the fandom was kind of split, right? Like half of them liked it, half of them didn't like it, and they didn't like, eh, whatever. Mm. But this song, I think a lot of the majority of them really like it, and so they can kind of be like, hey, this song is catchy, and they're winning some music shows because it's all popularity vote. Um, but mm. this song, it's it's vocally not very good, not very good at all. Um, there are some parts that are very very like pitchy and like not right. Uh, mainly kind of when Yuri is singing, it's not very good. Um, there were some moments where I was like, uh, uh, like like it's, this is not even a live version, right? This is the studio master, right? Yeah. And there were some parts where I'm like, <laughs> like he like he should have done some of those takes again, like. No, I mean, no offense to Yuri or whatever, like, this might not be her song, but that, those parts did not sound good at all, to be honest. Yeah, but there were multiple parts. It wasn't yeah. just Yuri. I yeah. think as a, a generality, yeah. like, you know, you know, some people in Girls' Generation can sing, mm-hmm. but this song eliminates all possibilities like yeah if i if this is the first song i ever heard in my life of girls generation i would have been like can they can't a single sing. girl sing in this group like probably not like when you compare them to any of the new groups right it's like not even close like it's like what the hell right um but but i do i guess kind of piggyback on what you said mm-hmm. um I, i'd probably have to go a little more uh uh meaner 
you know, which right. is like, like you say it's catchy and mm. like, I, uh, we were talking earlier mm. and I, I said it, it, it I, this is a bad song. I, I do not like this song. Mm. Okay. Um, now there are two types of catchy. One is like, it's, uh, it's catchy, like legitimately mm. like. Catchy you know, good. It, it, it's good, but, you know, there's also a fungus version of that where at first you don't think it's that good and it yeah. slowly gets better. It grows um, on you. Yeah. And then there's the other catchy, which is like uh, my example earlier was, was that uh, Friday song mm. um, where it's like you heard it a couple times and you're, you're like taking a shit and all of a sudden you hear it's like, you know, you hear this like P A R T Y, and you're like, "Why the fuck are you in my goddamn head?" Right? Yeah. Like as it's coming out of my mouth, I'm like, "This is not a good song." Yeah. Um, so so I will say, yeah, it's catchy, I I guess. Um, but like I think if any other girl group sang this song, mm-hmm. um, like and they did it in the exact same way, mm-hmm. nobody, zero people w- would give any give any shits about this song. Mm-hmm. Um, okay. Well, there's probably always going to be like one Some or two people, that are yeah, like, yeah. I love this song yeah. and i fucking hate aoa yeah. right because everybody mean, people are different yeah. are different right that, that may be like a super exaggeration but basically what you're trying to say is there's no way that it would get like 17 million hits like on youtube if this was laboom singing this if yeah. this was you know g friend singing agree. this like i i think people would be like not good like they can't sing mm-hmm. they can't dance um because the dancing in this is like i mean you only see the dancing for maybe 10 percent of the video but the dancing is like elementary school level it's, dancing the dancing is really bad it is really bad like we kind of said like oh man they weren't that together in catch me if you can but like in a catch me if you can they uh, they did some dancing okay? catch me if you can they did some dancing. that choreography looks amazing compared to this yeah um like it was like they were doing like waves but it was like slow slow waves that like an elementary school student could do uh, yeah. like it was just like the, the i know they're trying to be cute um but it's just weird to me it's like like they they started with cute, hmm. they progressively progressively try to be a little more sexy, right? A little, a little bit more, more fierce, uh, so, fierce, yeah. a little bit more uh, mature. mature. Yeah. And then this is like the bubble song for DBSK, where they're just like, mm. "Fuck it, we're just we're cute again, guys." We're go and it's back like, a little bit. it's oh, it's weird. I don't I don't understand this. Um, no, I I agree with you, Stephen. Actually, but I mean, I'm not as uh, sh- I guess harsh. But I, I did say that this song is catchy, but in a California Girls way catchy. And I didn't like California Girls. So it's I kinda, guess I kind of like California Girl. I mean, so this song is catchy in a way that's like, it gets stuck in your head. Like Katy Perry and, and you don't necessarily want it to be stuck in your head. Okay, um, yeah. Okay, yeah. 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 I, I guess I'm just saying the same thing, but meaner. Yeah. Um, but See, because I think you, you don't like the song, and I kind of like the song. So I think that's where uh, the separation is. Yeah, I don't yeah. like, I aren't like... There's really, to me, like, okay, in the background, like, if you're in a pool and, like, it's kind of playing, you're like, okay, okay. right? But, like, as a song that, like, okay, I- I'm going to pick, you know, should I listen to AOA Heart Attack or should I listen to Girls' Generation Party? Like, it's not even remotely, like, uh-huh. a-, a choice to me. Um, you know, Got 7 Just Right or Girls' Generation Party, Party, it will never, there's no circumstance ever... Um, unless Girl Generation is standing in front of me and they're like, what song are you picking? And I'll be like, party? You know? Like, <laughs> party? Like, that would be the only situation P-R-T-Y. where that would happen. P-R-T-Y. Uh, uh But, yeah. Yeah. Um, it, it, you know, Wonder Girls being my favorite group, I mean, they had their massive downswing, Mm -hmm. but it was, like, in this weird, you know, like, they tried to go in America, then people Mm -hmm. left their group, and they got Mm -hmm. new people. Mm -hmm. And so they're... It's just sort of sad to me when, like... uh, Granted, Jessica did leave, right? Mm -hmm. But the thing is, like, it's just sad to see the the downfall, you know? It is really sad. It's just really sad to me to see that because now I you know where I'm at. Man. Yeah. Now like you, know you loved, right like you love, love, love girls. Uh, and I really did like him. Like, uh, I know maybe you've only started listening to the podcast, you know, recently or maybe the last year or two, because I don't think girls generation has made anything worth anything, you know, in the for, past, two, in the past three two, three years. Um, but like, I really did like them a lot. Yeah. Um, you know, my, some of my phone backgrounds used to be like Yuri and, and cause, and, and, uh, um, Yuna, and now it's just kind of like, oh, <laughs> you know, it's kind of like, yeah. oh, man, we're still waiting for, like, 
a good, even if it's a throwback to like G, you know, or mm -hmm. a throwback to like, you know, G Genie or whatever. Like, and you know, come on, it's it's really harsh the way kind of Korean, like K-pop kind of deals with male and female idols. Like male idols, if they get old, they're kind of like wine, you know, and people enjoy mm -hmm. them a lot more. Uh, for example, like Super Junior or DBSK, like those guys are st are still relevant. Sure. Right. Shiny. Uh, well, not shiny. Shinwa. I mean. Shinwa. Shinwa. Like those guys are still relevant, right? And Girls Generation, like they're getting a little bit on the older side. Not even as old as like Super Junior, but like people are already kind of like writing them off, right? And they're just saying like, oh, you're, they're not as attractive. Oh, they're not as you know young or or fresh or whatever. It's because it, it's kind of like girls, they have to be fresh or sexy mm. in order to, to have appeal, mm. right? Yeah. But, but, you know, still, they're still girl generation. They still yeah. have a, an insane amount of fans. Yeah. Um, uh, so, you know, it's definitely not the worst time I've ever heard in my life. Mm -hmm. um, I just think it was another completely lackluster it was a to it was me. A miss for you, right? Um, yeah, and... Again, yeah. we always say this, but like you know, even though SM's killing it it's with the money, is like I just they're, they're in trouble future wise. Their music, like, is I just don't you know like when these these set things die, you know like what do you have? What do they have? Like, you know, I uh, I almost call them ice cream cake, but uh, I mean Red Velvet has yeah. a decent fan base, right? Yeah. But they're um, not doing anything to really promote them. It's a problem. Yeah, I don't know. It's just whenever I just think of YG and it's just like they have so much. <laughs> they have so much new things. Mm. And and not even that. Like there are so many third party uh, groups that are like on the rise. On the rise. And it's like, you know, like FNC, I think I think actually FNC is, is technically bigger than JYP, I think, in like market share in Korea I because feel like. of uh UJ Sok joining them, right? Uh, I don't mean stock price. I just mean like like uh, sale numbers. I, I remember reading oh, an article I'm not, I'm not sure. I'm um, not sure. that because of CM Blue and and AOA now yeah. um, and uh, FT Island, like yeah. uh, you know, JYP hasn't had a a solid group in in a while. In a while, mm -hmm. I mean, two PM. They're still making in money. But... I guess got seven, but in Korea, uh, got seven kind of does nothing. Mm -hmm. um, but. Uh, and of course, yeah. Now they have UJ Suk, and their and their stock rose to like an all time high because of that. Um, that's pretty crazy. Uh, but anyway, let's talk about some other girls. Yeah. So uh, our next group is Girls Day with Ring My Bell. Now Girls Day um, is also back, much anticipated summer release. Um, you want you want to talk about this first, Demon? Sure, I do. Um, sure. I do. So, Girls' Day, um, I'll just, I'll, I don't want to compare this to anything else. I just want to talk about this. Mm -hmm. um, so, the song itself, you know, when I first heard this song, I was kind of like the first 30 seconds, I was yeah. like, okay. I feel okay. Like, okay. All yeah. right. Um, and then it just never went anywhere for me personally. It just, it just gets worse um, and worse. It doesn't get better. Yeah. Um, now I might sound hypocritical to for me as someone who really, really loves Heart Attack to say mm -hmm. that this song. There are parts in this song that just has crazy amounts of noise. Um, it's it's just like a jackhammer on my eardrum, man. Yeah, like for me, like I, I fully admitted that you know at first listen, Heart Attack, it was just it was a jackhammer of noise. But you know, as I was trying to make very clear last episode, like there's so much. There's at least something to latch on to mm. over the jackhammer. Yeah, and there's um, some parts that you can kind of... that Yeah, but that we latched on to, and then yeah. with subsequent listens, that jackhammer just goes away. Like, I don't yeah. even hear that noise anymore. Yeah. I just hear the catchiness the, and the whatever that yeah, I love. Yeah, same. Um, and that might happen if I heard this song, you know, eight more times, nine more times. But right now, it's just during the, you know, the, the kind of build up to the to the chorus, I guess... Like it's just it's just noise and it's like it sounds like it's getting faster and faster and faster and faster and I just I don't know like it kind of sounded like this song was just like a we it's like leftovers from other better songs like I don't know for me this the song started at like thirty right mm. and then just went to like a hundred and fifty and just finished 
like at 150 mm -hmm. the whole time. And it just... But like, I think there's a good way the to do B, that. The BPM is just way too high. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's way too high to be really all that catchy. And um, like the BPM is at a point where it's kind of like a club song at, at a point. Yeah. But then you're trying to add like pop elements into it and it just doesn't really work out. Because you're not really committing to one style. You're, mm. you're, you're not going clubby with all like the produced effects. And you're trying to have them sing mm. um, in a club track. And it, doesn't, it just doesn't mesh together. Um, yeah. Like, don't get me wrong. I, I saw some like videos of Girls Day singing. And they can sing. Don't get me wrong. But this... I don't know what this was. If you're if you're trying to like make a, a summer like club hit, you should have just made a summer club hit. If you're trying to have them sing, you should have just had them trying to make them sing. Um, it's just so like, like this wasn't even a summer way. song. Like, I don't even know why this came out. Like when I think summer song, I think like Darling. Like yeah. Darling is a I think a great summer song. I don't even know if that song came out in the summer. Yeah. Um, but like there even, was nothing even really like Hello summery. Bubble. Hello Bubble was like an amazing summer release. Yeah, like, I, I mean I really like that. That compared song, to this yeah. and that was a, a song for a fucking CF, commercial yeah um but i i just don't know what is like a, 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 to me like a lot of the choreography was just like leftovers from a lot of their mm -hmm. other songs I except agree. for the actual ring my bell kind of i don't know what giddy up like yeah like th thunder thigh thing um but i just thought like i don't know like we've said many times in the past that like you know we think girls day was like really really pretty right mm -hmm. like uh there's a, a a while where i was like oh my god mina and oh my god you're a like yeah. damn like i never really thought these girls like uh uh these girls were that pretty but like something about the outfits something the about outfit the makeup choices, something the about makeup. the 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 way the background looked the like hair color it I just didn't it look good to me it really didn't go, look good to me it, it really looked kind of like cheap yeah. Kind of like yeah. artificial, you know? Kind of. Um, it, may, it might be because all of them kind of dyed their hair like a natural color. Like Harry's is black, but hers looks like a natural black. Like and maybe it was we're... One, it was one, yeah, it's like too black. It was one color and they had to dye it black kind of deal instead of let it grow out. Yeah. And maybe we're too used to seeing her blonde because we've seen that in a while. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know what it was. Like I think uh, that that red hair is like really pretty. But for some reason, just it just didn't it work for me. Say, it doesn't it doesn't um, suit Euro very well. I don't know why. And obviously, yeah, people will know. disagree with us. But this is just Steve and, and I. Yeah, yeah. But like you know, the the looks and all that stuff is like yeah, of course that's part of it, right? That yeah. that's part of every you know, K-pop group and whether you like something or not. Um, but hands down, it's still the song. Like still the song is kind of like yeah, still it, the song ruins it for me. It's not a bad song. Um, like it, it wasn't like you know my favorite go to bad song you know red light right it wasn't like it wasn't like like the devil like ear fucked me okay like like the, I think there are some parts in the song that like I'm okay I'm I kind of yeah, okay with yeah. don't get us wrong there are um, some redeeming qualities yeah but like unlike the other bad song girls generation like girls generation has that creep has that creep catchy. You know, mm. that like Friday, Friday. It's like, no, and get that, out of my head. Like, Stop it. But it's there. Get out of my head, Charles. Yeah. <laughs> this song, it just doesn't have that. Like, I I, I don't even, like, I, even though I've, I've just talked about it for 15 minutes, I'm not entirely even, like, sure what, what this song sounds like. No. Uh, because it's just, I don't find it, there wasn't anything really catchy in it. Anytime I try to, like, dissect this song, it just gets my heart like beating like really really quickly because mm. I just think like dur, 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 dur. it's like just yeah. so fast like and like I even today I I listen to the song four times like it wasn't like I listened to it one time and yeah. I forgot it like sometimes that happens when we do this podcast because there's so mm. many songs but like I listen to the song three times by myself uh, and then I think we listen to it one or two times together together yeah um and I just. Like we've we've remember. we've each heard the song multiple times because this song came out last week and not this past week. Right. So we had some time to kind of listen it to it and give it another chance. And the more I listen to it, the more it, the more abrasive it is yeah. for me. Yeah. Um, um, but anyways, uh, I mean, the music video has a lot of downvotes. Yeah. Uh, but it has a lot of downvotes for a totally separate reason. Mm -hmm. um, we don't normally talk about news, uh, but I do want you know just in case you, you didn't know. Mm -hmm. Um, Girls Day was to promote 
you know their new out al- their song. Mm-hmm. They were on a very special uh, yeah. internet broadcast. Like we yeah, have like, we have Twitch in America, yeah. you know, and, they, uh, and in Korea they have Africa TV. Yeah, yeah, where they live stream games mostly, but they also live stream the mukbang stuff. Yeah, mukbangs like eating uh, broadcast. The eating broadcast. Um, and of course, the the broadcasters of 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 course are called BJs. Yeah, because they're broadcast jockeys. Of course, yeah. that's I don't know why thing. you would think otherwise. Yeah, why would you not? Um, but anyway, so they were on with a guy that I think is relatively famous in the the Africa yeah. broadcasting thing. I've never heard of him. Yeah, uh, but pretty much you should watch the video. You should watch the video of this like interview slash dinner slash. It it was really awkward. Yeah, uh-huh. like, some people don't believe the girls were rude on purpose, and some yeah. believe they were rude on purpose. Like, yeah. I don't really care about the purposeful or not purposeful. No. All I care about is it was a the reaction. awful. It was yeah. like a train wreck. Like, like yeah. I've watched a lot of things, right? Like, yeah. a lot of Running Man, you know. Uh, um, uh, Infinity, uh, Challenge. In- Infinity Challenge. Uh, Variety shows. Like, we Got Married. Like, like you Happy know, Together. Happy yeah. Together. You know, yeah. I've seen a lot of those things. And, like... These people are trained. You know, even if they're having a shit day, they only had 30 minutes to sleep. They're, they're trained, trained to smile, to smile and act like they're having a fun time. Crack right. jokes. I've never once in my life seen a K-pop star look so uninterested. <laughs> like, yeah. they didn't give a single and, fuck. And you know what the thing is? It's like, that's the trend nowadays, like, to have, like, some sort of showcase, mm. um, either online or, like, a mini concert. For a while, it was a mini concert, but then they're like, why don't we just do it online? Mm. And AOA had a similar thing, and they had some incidents that people really liked because it involved panty shots. Of course. And like, oh, yeah, yeah. And like bra slips yeah, or nip slips. That. And everybody was like, yes, mm. because obviously their main fans are guys, and guys are guys. Sure. And we dumb. Yeah, <laughs> we dumb. But like, I watched that. You know, I'm not going to lie for the panty shots. Yeah. But, like, they're still smiling and having a good time and, like, yeah. interacting with each other and being Cheering cute. And... Um, but the girls' day one, is, they're just, like, they they don't say any jokes. The dude, like, asks them questions and they're just, like, eh. <laughs> yeah. Eh, pass me the food. <laughs> like, it's, it's just hilarious to see that kind of train wreck because, like, that's kind of what a train wreck is. You know, whether they did it on purpose or not, they could have been tired. We totally understand. Mm-hmm. Like, yes, it's unreasonable to think that they need to be happy you know 24 7 we get that but that also is what they do right yeah so it's totally weird this to, is their to, job yeah it's totally it's weird so to see them just like not give a fuck yeah i don't know so, what happened there yeah so i think it's funny i think i mean i don't know the exact thing but i think you should google you know uh, girls day they, they might have taken it africa down tv if, if it was that much um, of a train wreck. i mean i think i i saw seen it on daily motion not yeah YouTube. It, might, it might still be around um, because you can never yeah, really take everything off the internet right? yeah yeah so you know look try to look on all k-pop for maybe for a link or something but it is yeah. fucking hilarious okay. um uh but yeah so let's move on uh because you know sometimes right you just want to laugh mm-hmm. right not like girls that you just want to laugh and have a good time. And the best way to do that is to watch Running Man, which is a Korean variety show that pits K-pop idols, actors, and comedians against each other, against each other in a series of insane challenges. Uh, recently, Big Bang and Girls' Generation guest starred on the program, which they only do every uh, couple of years. And Running Man is my... Uh, one like my favorite Korean television show of all time, and it was actually one of the deciding factors that that I thought of what, get when I was like maybe I should go to Korea. Mm. Um, so if you want to see your idols, you know, doing crazy things in hilarious situations, or you just want to laugh, uh, you should definitely check out Running Man, and you can watch the Big Bang episode right now by going to dfvr.co/twikrunning uh, to watch that. Yeah, and actually, the funny thing is, I watched uh, the Big Bang and the Girls' Generation one, and they have a, a, a third one, like a Summer uh, summer Queen episode. I watched all three of those, and literally, they made me laugh out loud. Mm. It was They were really, really good episodes. Uh, sometimes Running Man, it's been around for a while. Sometimes the Running Man format is like something you don't want to see, but really, those episodes are really, really fun to watch, and mm. I really recommend them if you guys haven't seen them yet. Um, head over to Drama Fever, DFR, uh, dfvr.co slash TWIK running. Yeah. And if you enjoyed that episode and you found yourself kind of binge watching more and more and more, please consider signing up for Drama Fever Premium for as low as 99 cents 
per month. For the cost of two meals, you get a year's worth of access to all your favorite dramas and movies in HD and uh, little to no ads. Uh, Drama Fever is the best and easiest way to stream all your favorite Asian dramas and movies. Uh, so again, use our special link, dfer.co uh, slash twick running. And uh, by clicking on that and watching it with that link, you are directly supporting us and letting Drama Fever know that you came there because of us. Yeah. And um, they have a lot of Asian dramas and a loss, uh, also a lot of different uh, dramas. They have like, you know, Spanish speak Spanish language dramas as well. Yeah. Um, of course, we're not interested in those, but mm. if you if you are interested in those, go check it out. Uh, I I definitely recommend it. So does Steven. Yeah, like Running Man. Uh, I don't I don't know if I've told this story before. I probably have, but like, um, you know, when I started this podcast with Kelvin, mm. like I had to like I was like Kelvin, you motherfucker. I need someone to do this with me. I know you know nothing about K-pop, but you watch Running Man, mm-hmm. right? And so you kind of know some of these idols because you've seen Running Man episodes. Uh, you know, maybe you should do this with me. And so, like, the only reason Kelvin wa- uh, gave any shits about Korean, like, the Korean scene at all was because of Running Man. Um, and it was, like, this weird, you know, like, stars align because I literally, I never heard of Running Man because mm-hmm. I, I don't know a single person that likes Korean stuff mm-hmm. uh, prior Back to home. that. Yeah. Back home. Um, so... Some random ass. I don't even know how I did it. I stumbled upon this link for Running Man. Mm. I watched the very first episode, and I was like, "What the fuck?" So like that day, I think I watched like twelve episodes. Damn. Like I think I spent like thirteen or fourteen hours straight watching Running Man, and I was like, "Dude, Kelvin, You're a genius. watch this." No, I was like, "Watch oh. this show right now," oh. and he was like, "What show?" And I'm like, "You gotta watch Running Man." He was like, "Holy." fucking shit i just discovered it yesterday and i've been watching it for 12 hours straight (laughs) and i was like how the fuck did we both discover it like literally almost the exact same time completely Mm -hmm. separately and i was like that blew my mind i was like calvin we gotta do a podcast and he was like okay um so the running man will always hold a special because uh, that is essentially how this week in k-pop formed like it really like i was thinking about moving to korea for for a a while but it was always kind of like Eh, you know, I'll mm-hmm. move to Korea, whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, but it really wasn't until I was, like, watching Running Man and, like, they... You know, Running Man is, for all intents and purposes, like, a promotion tool for places around Korea. Yes. You know, idols in Korea, right? Actors in Korea. Yes. Like, um, like I discovered... A, I was like, damn, that girl's cute and she's funny. I want to see what movie she's in. And I watched that movie. Or that drama. Or, oh, man, I've never heard of this group. Like, I'm going to look up this person. And I was like, oh, shit. Like, it was such a great way to kind of lead me into to the Korean scene. Mm-hmm. Um, if you're already listening to this podcast, you probably already know about you Running probably, Man. Yeah, you probably already do. But you may not have watched it. Or you may not have watched it recently. Um, so. They are funny. I was like, ah! I was, yeah. I was literally laughing out loud last mm-hmm. night. To be honest, I haven't watched a Running Man episode in quite a while mm. um, because I've been obsessed with a different show. Um, the Genius. Oh my god! Yeah, that's, fuck that show. I mean, you only watch like, like a, you only watch like a couple of episodes, Dude, right? Yeah, I'm like hooked. But like, dude, I watched I I watched like 17 episodes in like two days. Oh my! god. And I actually had to stop myself because I was like, I'm watching it too fast mm-hmm. and like too much. Like it's blurring together. Mm-hmm. I need to pace myself. Um, but we'll talk about it some other time. Yeah. Uh, but let's move on, I guess, to uh, some uh, viewer oh, or listener yeah. comments. Yeah. yeah, because this episode we didn't get an iTunes review. No, not this episode. Um, we actually had, you know, that, that was a very common thing, you know, mm-hmm. uh, for a long time to only get one every once in a while. Mm-hmm. But we had like such a great run of like episode after episode of episode of having, yeah. having iTunes reviews. It was the iTunes review train, like. Woo-hoo. Yeah, like some episode we had like four, so a little sad. But on uh, on uh, Reddit, mm-hmm. uh, a user that goes by Sammy514 uh, uh, private messaged me because sometimes I do post on Reddit, although I try not to anymore after yeah. the Big Bang incident of 2015. Debacle. Um, yeah. But, you know, Sammy uh, sent me a private message and said, uh, I just want to say that I have so much appreciation for both of you and your guys' content, and I really do hope you keep at it and you realize that you have the support of a lot of people, including me. 
Uh, I see your views and your concerns, and I really hope that the downvotes in that Big Bang thread doesn't discourage or take away from all the work that you both do, because I really don't care either way what other people think about that kind of issue, and your fans don't either, because your opinion is your opinion, and no one has the right to say that it's wrong or whatever berate you for that, because that's not cool. So, really, really want to thank you. Uh, you know, I private messaged you back, Sam, but... It really did brighten my day when I saw that. I, whenever I see that little icon that's like, you got mail in Reddit, I'm like, oh, oh my God, no. it's going to be someone yeah. yelling at me for something. Um, but uh, Samuel does also say, uh, just one more thing. I think it would be pretty cool if you guys set up an email for Q&A um, or feedback because iTunes reviews aren't really good for that. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, that reminds me that we do a horrible, horrible job of telling <laughs> listeners every week that you can contact us directly. Yeah. Um, the fastest way is probably Twitter. Twitter, yeah. Um, which, at least for you, yeah. Yeah, at least for me. I mean, I'm really bad at checking all those things sometimes. I kind of go like AFK from mm -hmm. my life and I'm like, fuck everything. Just want to play some video games and watch a genius. Um, but, you know, I'm, you know, at Twix Steven. Josh is at Twig Josh. Mm -hmm. um, but you can also email us. We do have an email where if you want to type a long ass, you know, you don't want to send a, you know, 120 character thing. Yeah, you want to send short. us an email. Um, you can, of course, email us at thisweekinkpop at gmail.com. Uh, that's also where you can tell us, you know, maybe you left us a review, an iTunes review, but it was in another country. Yeah, a different right? country. Um, and also Sam actually brings up a good point, which is that oh, not everyone has iPhones. Some people have Android phones. Yeah. Uh, and of course you can't leave an iTunes review if you're not, uh, yeah, if you don't have an Apple iTunes account. account. Yeah. Um, so if you guys want to kind of at least, uh, you know, tell us your support, um, you can of course email us yeah. or, or message us on Twitter. Yeah. And, you, and you guys, I feel like you don't really understand like the power <laughs> that one of these like encouraging notes like gives us because Steven and I, like, sometimes we just get really, really, really just down. Uh, recently, Steven and I, we had, like, a few meetings about uh, our future and what we wanted to do about this podcast. And um, a, a lot of it was kind of negative. Uh, a lot mm -hmm. of parts of it were kind of negative. And when we see really kind of notes like this and, and they say, like, hey, you know, your podcast, you, you, know, you have a lot of fans, you have a lot of listeners, keep up the good work. Uh, it, it really, really, really encourages us. And we don't want to yeah. just say that to be like, kind of give like you lip service or whatever. Yeah. Like legitimately, if we have like a like 100, like 500 negative comments about us, like we'll see one like positive comment like this and it will just like erase all those. And it won't erase. Maybe not erase, uh, but, but, but you know. It definitely yeah. picks you up. Definitely it, picks definitely, up. it definitely picks us up if we're yeah. feeling down. And we just really want to say thank you, Sammy. Um, for your kind words and mm -hmm. we will definitely try to put out more content you that you guys enjoy um, yeah, There's a game that I've been editing for weeks now <laughs> that I just have not gotten to finish um, Because of the genius. I'm not gonna lie uh, I, I, I Spent so much time watching watching that show um, <sighs> But I think in theory it I hope it will make the editing of the game show better because I, I really think I learn a lot from from like on how I want to edit this or how maybe like ah. how I want to set up uh, our video after mm. watching so much uh, uh, variety television. Mm. Um, so yeah, we want to thank, of course, you know, everybody, everybody, everybody for listening to us. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, we, thousands of you guys download our podcast every, you know, uh, every month and, you know, sometimes it's just a number, but it's really, really great when we, uh, kind of put a, a face or a yeah. name or something just Some words, words to yeah. you know we we always joke that like for all we know like 99 percent of them 90 are bots. Bots, yeah. we just don't know um so we want to thank you guys all right let's move on we did a lot of talking about not songs so let's talk about songs again uh so we our first song in the second section is going to be by our lovely chingu jay park featuring his homies gray and loco with their song, My Last. AUMG. Hey, yo. AUMG. Um, so, Jay Park, of course, has been actually uh, kind of killing it recently. Yeah. Uh, because, you know, Mome, at the time when Mome came out, and even the month afterwards, like, I don't think that many people, especially in Korea, cared. Mm -hmm. uh, but recently, that song actually has like gone up the charts. Yeah, a lot more people are listening to that it's like song. Three million views right now. Yeah, I heard it 
you know, I've been hearing it around. Like, in, it's so weird to be in like uh, a Seven Eleven, a convenience mm-hmm. store, and Mome is playing. But and like, you see like elementary school students like eating ramen, you know, ramen, and it's like it's probably not the best for this. But so this is kind of you know we always say there's hard J Park. And they're singing Jay Park. But recently, he's been doing a lot of, like, like in between. middle ground Jay Park. Yeah. And this is definitely another middle, middle ground, ground Jay Park. Park. Um, it, it's, a, it's a lot more heavier on rapping than, than mm-hmm. I would like, personally. Yeah, because we prefer the singing Jay yeah. Park. Right? Um, but also because Jay Park raps most of the time. Uh, and then Loco also raps most of the yeah. time. Just um, a lot of rap in this song. Yeah, there's a lot of rap. and But the chorus part, it, I think, is, is, is pretty good. The mm-hmm. overall beat... I think it's really good. Yeah. And I actually think the music video is Quite surprisingly funny. fun. Yeah. Uh, you know, as, totally as opposed to the Jay Park from Sex Trip and the Jay Park <laughs> from from yeah. Mome, right? Yeah. Where he's like, bitches and hoes, right? Like, bitches this is. Bitches and hoes. I'm going to touch a boob. Yeah. <laughs> this is still kind of like, oh, this is more like the, the Joa. You yeah. know, Jay Park, where like, he's you're like, you so fine, girl. Like, I'm oh, girl, you're you, so sexy. But I'm a rap to you this time. Like. Yeah. But this is more, like, bromancy and, like, you know, it's kind of a joke because at the end, it's all a dream. Mm-hmm. Um, but, you know, it has some cool, I think, shots of, like, slow motion. They actually brought him a slow motion cam and, like, did some cool stuff. Yeah. And I thought it was actually, you know, there's some really, There's some really, cool. uh, there's some really cool shots in here. Like, they have their very, like, cliche girl playing a dog yeah. slow motion girl coming out of the ocean and then they have these like fun parts where it's just like jay park and his ching is just like dicking around yeah and yeah. i actually like those parts more yeah uh i, I mean, the bromancy parts were kind of kind of the best part yeah like don't get me wrong that oh, I, I feel like i'm saying don't get me wrong a lot but i mean don't get me wrong but, but don't get me wrong that girl is fine <laughs> but um i enjoyed at least uh, music video wise, Jay Park is just sticking around with his homies. Yeah. And I actually thought, you know, we see a lot of product placement, mm-hmm. looking at USM, random ass ads. Why you still need ads, okay? Come every, on, every, that every scene, and then now um, they have tire airways. Yeah, right? yeah. But, you know, this is blatantly an ad for Cass, right? Yeah. Cass is a beer. But, yeah. like, they do it in such a fun way, in like yeah. a natural way. Like, these yeah. are just dudes, like, you know, on the beach drinking beer like yeah. it actually kind of makes sense you know mm-hmm. it's not like i'm gonna let me put on these like beats headphones right in your face you know like yeah it, it, it has like fun. it has like no alignment with the music video sometimes but this mm. one like the cast it like actually it actually kind of makes sense like okay, yeah. a lot of it is like him spitting it on people and yeah. like it's kind of fun it's kind of yeah, fun it's fun um i do have to say aomg makes such good beats Mm. And this song has a really good beat. Mm. Um, it's, it's some it's like something something Malone, Cha Cha Malone. Yeah, Cha Cha Malone. Yeah, I've I've heard of him before. He makes like good. He's made some good beats that yeah. I enjoy. I mean, I I think they're really good for K-pop standards. But but I really think like I'm not a musical genius. I I I'm not that into to music, right? I don't know how to produce no beats, right? Mm-hmm. But I really do think like AOMG songs. They do more emulating than they do creating. Mm, yeah. Um, like they I think have, they don't have an old stink on. Yeah, I think a lot of their good beats. I mean, they are great beats, but I think a lot of it is just emulating American producer styles. Mm. At least, at least that's what I think. Um, you know, maybe some with more musicality can be like, well, actually, you know, the chord progression and the beat signatures are totally different. But mm. I really think it's like this is a tribute to this kind of you know song. Mm-hmm. This is a tribute to a, a DJ Mustard song. Yeah. You know, like they, the producing has a certain s- style that it's like taking from or like influence, and it's it's so heavy mm. in the producing. Don't get me wrong; it's the songs are good. Don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. The songs are good. I mean, the songs are good, mm. but it doesn't have enough originality or doesn't have enough like. I think there's just like this hint of like familiarity that I'm like, I don't know if I like it because I've heard many songs like this before in America or because it's just a good beat. Yeah. You know? Uh, yeah. I, like, but that Mome beat, I still really like that. Yeah. Boom, 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 yeah. boom, 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 boom. Um, I still see those kind of trashy girls though in my head whenever yeah. I yeah. picture that. Those, picture those that. like, Jean thongs? Oh, the jean thongs. You mean the things that Girls' Day wore (laughs) in that one picture? Mm. Um, All right, well, Jay Park, again, I really did like this song. Mm -hmm. Uh, I really wish it was more of this than Sex Trip. 
Um, but you know, you you put out sex trip. You can't take that back, Jay Park. Yeah, that's out there. Sex trip, trip. in car or plane, bus or train. <laughs> That's all I know. All. We can eat green eggs and ham any place. And that's how it goes. Uh, sex. Trip. Oh, <laughs> all right. Well, yeah. let's move on to our next song. Our next song is by Sonamu with Cushion. Did, did you say Mamamu? Sonamu. Ma- Mamamu? Sonamu. Oh, Sonamu. I forgot about them. They debuted and then took a... <laughs> Took a break while every other girl group was like, no, we got to go ham and release like seven singles. They're like, now nah, we're good. Dad. Yeah, some of them was like, eh, it's okay. We'll wait. Um, uh, I'll go first because I, I've been a very active <laughs> dismisser of Sonamu. Mm-hmm. Do um, your thing. Because, you know, Sonamu's first song, not good. Not good. Just absolutely not good. It was this. The song wasn't good. The image was confusing. Like, are they hard? Are they cute? Are they hard? Are they cute? Like... Are they trying to be BAP? Are they not? I don't know. Uh, and then they did that one song and then just kind of left. And, like, all these other girl groups kind of came in and, like, stole all the thunder. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know what TS was thinking, like, keeping them keeping them hidden for so long. You mean TS um, and 2008? <laughs> t- 2008. Oh, when were they, when were they formed? 2008. Um, but I will say that all that kind of bias set, like, there are a lot of parts in this song that I can get behind. Yeah. I really, like, I really think the chorus is actually kind of cool. Pretty like, catchy. Kind of catchy. Um, like, there are so many parts where I think, like, the, the singing kind of really matches. Um, but the thing that I hate and the thing that, that just bothers me so much and that, I don't know if it ruins the song, but it really comes close to ruining it, is is the rapping. It's like it's like they debuted. They were like, "We're gonna be hip hop," yeah. And then they were like, "TS was like, whoa, that Too wasn't hard. the way to go. That wasn't the way to go. We're uh, crap. We still have rappers. Um, oh oh shit. Oh okay. Well, let's just put a lot of raps in this song that doesn't need raps. Sounds way better without a rap. Or at least if you had the generic, you know, four bar K-pop rap, yeah. it might be okay. But there's I, just too much rap in this." And it's so, like, jarring. And it so doesn't match the rest of yeah, the song. Yeah, like, the, the rapping isn't bad, yeah. per se. The rapping isn't bad, but it's just misplaced, I feel. It's misplaced. It's too often. Mm. It, um, like, it there's that part too much. where it's, like, the chorus is building up, building up, building up. But there's a girl, like, like talk rapping, rapping yeah. with the... You said the four minute filter, right? Yeah. Like, like, like the we kind of muffle, like, uh, like the airplane a, filter. Like a, I'm speaking through a microphone into a microphone. Yeah. Like sc- scratchy, like what? What you say? You know, like it just it was like every time this song was like, oh yeah, I'm into Stand it. In Push it for the pushing. <laughs> and then it just then there's like a rap that like totally just brings me out of it, yeah. and I just. Uh, it it kind of sucks because there's like like seventy percent that I think I think I would have really enjoyed. I think so. Um, well. You know, I still will pro- might download it and, and give it a chance. Yeah, I'd have to um, listen to this song a few more times for me to give my. Yeah, final I mean, I think I liked it a little bit more than you, as far as those yeah, parts go. I think so. Um, but that's the song. Uh, let's talk about the music video. This concept is so confusing. It's like pillow fight, pillow fight, pillow fight. Like We're hard. cute, hard, hard, cute. Uh, we lost, uh, hard, hard yeah. lost. And it's the same. It's like, when does the hard part come out? When the rap comes out? For uh, no let's reason. have a pillow fight. Rapping, yeah. rapping pillow fight. It's just, it just doesn't make sense. Um, it, it's so mismatched. Um, but then the music video itself is just edited horribly Horribly. everything that we every the all the problems that we had with the original debut music video it's it's becoming a trend and i am really tired of it because one the main problem that you and i had is what the cuts the cuts they're just too many too frequent sometimes cuts within the same the same scene like they cut it to like speed it up yeah like sometimes that effect is okay it looks cool like if you go from like one one outfit or one lighting to like another, but then they're doing the same dance move. But if you're doing it like 10 times in the span of like 20 seconds, right. too much. Yeah. 
It's too much. It's like, I mean, of course, like, sugar-free will be, like, still hold the trophy for most cuts oh ever. God, right? Sugar-free. Um, but at least, at least the cuts kind of match the, like, the ferocity, not ferocity, but the, like, the, 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 the like, the electronic, like, da, 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 like, sound of, of the tiara song, right? Like, <laughs> There's no reason for this this music video to have this many cuts. No. Especially within the same scene. Absolutely no reason. Yeah, and um, one of the things that Sonomu, I guess, they're getting some recognition for is, like, they're dancing. And if you have that many cuts... I barely saw any dancing. You can't, you can't focus on a choreography. You can't see the dancing. And it's it's really a shame. They're not, they're not kind of promoting them or putting them out yeah. correctly, I believe. Like, they were supposed to be, like, we kind of, we, we go and dance. Like, as we said, they were supposed to be what the arc ended up being, mm -hmm. right? Which, the arc has their own problems with being yeah. a little confusing, right? Yeah. But, like, um, like, what, like, not only does it do a crazy amount of cuts, it also does the thing where, like, um... It's like the camera's panning or like zooming in or zooming out or moving away, but it's like tilting away. Uh -huh. It's like swaying away. And it's like, you, it's just, I'm no, busy. just let me look at this girl or let me look at this dance. Yeah. Like, you don't need to cut so much. Yeah. And it's a shame because the girls, a lot of the girls are very attractive, but you wouldn't know. Like, because they're just, the way they're cutting, the way they're moving the, the camera, producing it. It's it's not beneficial for the strengths of the group. Yeah, right. it's just it, the music video is just beyond generic. Man, it's like, it's like, th I don't think we got great footage. How about we just cut a shit ton of times? Yeah. Okay, like that's what it feels like. The director is. Yeah, the, the song had some redeeming qualities, but the music video is just a throwaway. Yeah, you can't take it. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I feel kind of bad because. You know, they were, I think, technically kind of like one of the first girl groups to come out in this, like, whatever generation, this new, 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 new generation. Yeah. Um, and, like, they, they did that one song, and they took a long-ass break for no reason. Yeah. Um, and I kind of think that they're kind of fucked because yeah. I, I, I mean, what? I and mean, granted, this was released, I don't know, today or, or two days ago. I don't know if this is the correct YouTube number just because the number is kind of weird. But it's but less than 50,000. It's less than 50,000, which is crazy to me. And I haven't heard of anything about it on the Korean music charts as well. Yeah. Um, I'm sure it charted, but, I mean, it's not. I, I if don't it's know not, if, if it's not in the top five, then. I, I wouldn't even put them in top. Like, even if it was top 50, I think that'd be good. Hmm. Um, I, I don't know if they are not. I'll look Rough. that up later. Um, but, uh, all right. Moving on. Uh, oh, it's my turn? Yeah. Uh, moving on to the last girl group we're going to talk about in the main section, and that is our long-lost friends, Stellar, uh, with their new song, Vibra Vibrato, or Vibrato. Uh, vibrato? <laughs> yeah, it's Vibrato. Almost said Vibrato. But the, uh, thing, um, the, thing, the, the thing is, the the Korean is Toryoyo, uh, which means to, like, uh, kind of be fluttery like have a fluttering mm. kind of feeling and so they that is put it in google like translate vibrata. and it came out vibrata yeah um now we if you're watching the video version uh it uh, the real music video is uh, locked behind a parental or whatever you got to sign in or something yeah, parental but guidance law, since bro. we live in korea you, signing in is not enough you actually have to put in like your korean, korean social phone security number, number and your phone nah, nah, number nah, nah, nah. never works for me because we're foreigners and it's confusing as fuck. So we can't show you the video. Um, but you should watch the video. Uh, and we'll talk about the video in a second. But uh, let me start... Just watching just once? Yeah. Just yeah, maybe once. <laughs> At least for the watching. end, anyways. Yeah. At least for the last 30 seconds. For um, the subak. <laughs> oh, God, the subak. Oh, the watermelon. Oh, it's disgusting. Um, anyway, so Stellar... Um, you know, I, I don't want to say everybody knows, but most people in the last two years know Stellar, of course, for Marionette. Um, and after Being Marionette, uh, yeah, they, they're known as like the, you know, the, the girl group that went too far. And then everybody kind of held back for a year. And then they were like, just kidding. We're going to do Hard push, right? Yeah, we're going to um, But, you know, Stellar actually had two releases. They had Mask uh -huh. and they had Fool. I think I think it was called yeah, Fool. Yeah, Fool or, or something, um, something similar to that, yeah. And and Mask was still sexy, but it was a lot, 
a lot, a lot toned of, down. Yeah. And Fool was actually complete opposite. Mm-hmm. It was kind of a cutesy video, kind of like lampooning. But they were actually directly commentating on the fact that they had to be sexy to get attention. Yeah, it was right? so strange. I was like, yeah. have Stellar turned a new leaf? Yeah. And then I saw the teaser image for this, and I was like, oh my god. Yeah. Well, Stellar realized that when... Uh, Neither Mask nor uh, a Fool charts in the top 100. Uh, as much as they wish they could go in that direction, it doesn't work. It's time to show some leg. It's time, time to go to back. S- time to show some butt cheek. Time to go back to that marionette. And, and more importantly, time to show some vagina. <laughs> um, no, no, no. Symbolically, symbolically show some vagina. Show some vagina. Um, so oh. I actually don't think, like, pre-symbolic vagina... Which, again, you're going to have to watch the video yourself to kind of see it. We'll describe it maybe later on. But, like, pre-symbolic vagina, I actually didn't think it was that bad. Yeah, it's not a bad song. Uh, I no, like. I'm not, I don't mean song. I mean the... The video. The video. Mm. Like, you know, like, Marionette, it was very on the nose of, like, brush shot. Brush, We're trying to brush. show you this. Yeah. We're trying to show you some of these. Yeah. Milk. Milk is coming down. I'm naked in a pool of milk, you know. Like, of course there's sexy shots in this. But there are sec- crazy sexy shots in a lot of girl group videos now, right? Two chains. Um, so I actually didn't think it was that bad until um, until the 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 symbolic the the SV. We'll call it the SV. <laughs> yeah. Um, shots of the vagina, SV. Oh, symbolic vagina. Oh, symbolic vagina. Um, but you know the song. I listened to it again right before the podcast without uh-huh. watching the video. Uh-huh. And, Not you know, it, I actually kind of liked it. Not bad. Um, but I also thought Marionette was one of the best songs that I heard so that year. So catchy. That like, song. it's really catchy, you know, regardless of, of, of the stuff going on. Um, and actually, you really, I, we both decently liked Fool, and I think you actually liked it a lot more. I did, yeah. Um, than me. Um and you know this song is really not that bad. It, I don't think it's as good as Marinette. No, um, but it's Definitely actually kind of good. So, it, it reminds me of like a '90s Jamiroquai song. Like yeah, if you guys, yeah. if you guys are familiar with Jamiroquai, if not, then you can Google him and figure out who I'm talking about. But it sounds very like '90s kind of electronic, a little like it's got some j- funk in it. I think mm-hmm. it's got some jazz mm-hmm. in it. Um, like it's actually pretty cool. So like I suggest if you haven't seen the music video mm-hmm. yet. Listen, well, maybe you just first heard the song on our podcast, right? If you're listening to the audio version. Um, but I would suggest just go listen to the song first mm. by itself. And I think you'll come out enjoying it a lot. Yeah. Um, the video might ruin the song. Then watch the video. Yeah. yeah. Then watch the video. And look at the falling apart watermelon vagina at the end. Uh-huh. Oh, you went straight there. Um, so, like, that, you know. That vagina is just falling apart. It's Yeah. So, the last 30 minutes are just, like multiple ways to kind of show a vagina. Yeah, like a sideways eye. Sideways eye. Like, there's actually... I never thought of it, but fingers like... Crossed. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed through the legs. Have you seen... I have seen that. Do you know this trick, um, guys? If you're watching the video version... Dude, they're, they're like <laughs> opening up opening up that bag. I was yeah, like... like Ugh. Ugh. Oh, my gosh. I understand you're trying to be suggestive, but yeah, it's kind I get of like it, suggestive, but... and there's just kind of like... And, like, there's a difference between, like, EXID showing. Like, EXID had, like, the the penis was the wiggly thing or a cucumber, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. But it's, like, for a, two seconds. It's for, like, yeah. one second. It'll flash. And it's funny. The, it flash, and you're it's like, ah, yeah. what's This is, like, a seven-second long take. It's just, like, of like let's zzz, look at zzz, them open this bag. It looks like a vagina. Oh, my gosh. Let's and zoom in on this tuba. Yeah. The worst one is the watermelon. Ooh. It like I don't even understand the one. Like the other one, the eye I understand, the, the yeah. fingers I understand, the yeah. bag I understand. Like I okay, I, I've seen you know things, right? But like the watermelon is fucked up, man. That's it, like, some like Freud shit, right yeah, there. Yeah, it like opens up at first, and then there's like a quick cut to where like part of the watermelon like spills outside. Yeah. So you just see like, I guess it's the vagina and like parts of like parts. Parts of it is coming out, which, again, we're not saying vaginas are gross, right? It's a natural thing. Vaginas are beautiful. Right? Uh, you know, childbirth, whatever, natural thing. I don't think anyone can say that it looks uh, uh, great, but it's a natural childbirth thing. I'm, we're not saying that's a bad thing. We're just saying that, like, you know, symbolism, sometimes symbolism is a little oh too on the nose, and it goes on for a little too long, and you're like, am I watching a, a science 
a show or or is this yeah. a music video? I don't. I yeah, understand. It, it definitely didn't make me horny. It definitely no. made me not want to eat watermelon for a while. Me, yeah. <laughs> Kind of made me like I don't want to open I purses. I don't. I don't ever want to see a purse or a watermelon. At least I don't want to see week. fingers through legs. Like I just ugh. the Ugh. watermelon though. Oh Ugh. my god. Ooh. Um. Ooh. So yes, do yourself I think a, a favor. Uh, watch the or listen to the song first, then watch the video for fun times. Make sure your parents aren't gonna come in the room. Yes, um, nineteen plus. Because nothing, nothing bad, really. You know, you don't see anything bad, but you don't want to explain the last thirty. Why seconds are you to looking at a vagina watermelon on your laptop? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or yeah. maybe your dad will come in and be like, "That looks tasty," and that will ruin you for life. Okay, no. you don't want that in or, your brain. Or he'll be like, "Oh, that that watermelon looks like your mom's." No, oh! it's like I've seen that. Right, like I've seen that I've somewhere seen before. That twenty years ago, when you were born. reminds me of your mom. No. Uh, <sighs> anyways, Stellar, like, you know, I, I wish them the best because you know they they working hard. Every kid up for their something. this image. I, I don't think it'll work again. Right, like they they already did it with Marinette. If they were gonna do it, they should have done it again right afterwards. Um, yeah, they, well, kind of mass was kind of. It was a little bit. A little bit. Um, but it, it, a little bit. it was a, a lot bit. more like the – I, if I remember correctly, it was a lot more the quote-unquote, for me, correct way to do sexy. It was a, a little bit more adult, a little bit more uh, uh, actually sexy, not just mm. like shaking butts. Mm. Um, this one is literally just shaking butts. It's like this is the oh, one where it looks like they're kind of like Putin. They're just like – they like oh, yeah. bet. It's like, like – Just look at my butt. Just look at it. It's like they kind of arch their back and kind of... It's like the slowest torque in the world. Yeah. It kind of looks like they're kind of farting. As opposed to Marinette, where it was like the... the, I farted and I'm trying to air it away. Yeah. Like, for some reason, Stellar is very gassy. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Uh, They don't look like they ate much food. So I don't know... I don't know where they get that gas. uh, No, apparently that's the problem. Like, you get really really? gassy if you don't eat very much. Then why am I so guessing? <laughs> it also goes to the opposite way. Just kidding. You know who's the guy who farts everywhere? Not me. Who are we talking about? Me and I. We're talking about <laughs> me the guys. It's the drinking. It's so much drinking. Yeah. Uh, all right. Before the lightning round, we want to thank our second sponsor, uh, Audible, of course. So for being our chingus, Audible is offering a free audiobook download with a free 30-day trial to our awesome listeners. So if you have some free time, some chores to do, a long commute, you got some pooping to do, Give listening to audiobooks a chance by clicking on the link and signing up for the free trial. Remember, you are directly, monetarily supporting us. Uh, so to get any audiobook from over 180,000 titles for free, go to audibletrial.com slash T-W-I-K. Again, that's audibletrial.com slash T-W-I-K. You can find the links in the show notes. Mm-hmm. You can find the links in the YouTube description to just click. Um we do want to thank um, six people. Actually, six entire people. And I'm not being sarcastic when I say this, but six, that's a lot more than what we were expecting mm-hmm. uh, uh, after the first couple of weeks. Because the first couple of weeks, it was zero. It's literally zero. And we were like, oh no. But uh, somehow in the last two or three weeks, six people have signed up. Uh, you know, we don't know exactly who you are, but we do know that you pro- you put in your credit card information, you signed up for that free trial. Thank well, you. Remember to cancel it if you don't like the service, oh, but yeah. they got a free audiobook. You know, you can get a free audio, but we said this last episode, but you can get a free audiobook using the normal audio audible trial, mm-hmm. you know, link. You can go to the regular website. Yeah. But if you click our link, you, everything on your end is the same, but we get a little bit something to little, help us out. A little bit of mustard. Yeah, DJ oh. Mustard. Um, a little bit of DJ Mustard yeah. on the top. But uh, there's actually, you know, uh, one of the books, I, I feel like I may have mentioned, uh, you know, a couple episodes ago was uh, um, Ready Player One. Oh, yeah. Um, and, uh, you know, the guy who wrote it, I think his name's Ernest Klein, he just came out with a second book, which is not, it, it's it's not a sequel to that, but it's very much like in the Similar same vein. Genre. It's called Armada. Um, I haven't finished the book. I, I read probably about a third of it. Um, but if if you're kind of like us 
and you kind of remember the 80s. If you're a little older than us, you might like it even more, where you were maybe a teenager in the 80s, mm -hmm. or you liked 80s things like Ataris and like Godzilla and yeah. like Voltron and like things like that. Like this, if you like Asteroids, if you like The Last Starfighter, um, this book is for you. So I think you should give that book a try. It's called uh, Armada, um, and I like reading books. Maybe uh, you'll like it too. Maybe you'll like it too. Uh, so we, of course, we want to thank the six people that signed up. If you email us, uh, or, uh, tell us on Twitter that, Hey, I was that person that did it. Uh, we will give you a named shout out. We'll be yeah. like, shout outs to Joe Schmo 99 or Scatty, Scatty 69 or whatever your Scatty name is, 69. whatever the name that you chose, you know, Teen Top Fan for Life, Waffle Barbecue or, yeah. Or fucks Josh and Steven yeah, at hotmail.com. Put T.O.P. in my butthole, you know, whatever it is. Uh, whatever. We'll read it out. Whatever. Right? Could be um, the stupidest thing. Could be the stupidest thing. I mean, my usernames are stupid. I mean, all usernames are stupid, yeah. right? Because yeah. you probably made it when you're a teenager. Um, or, you know, or you were completely just like, I'm just going to use my name with the number. I mean, people do that. You know, I'll be a little elitist and I'll go ahead. You know, sorry, Sam and Ben. <laughs> I mean, I know we just gave you shout outs. But, you know, name plus number. <laughs> more creative could have been more creative, been more creative. Um, but you know when, when we made our when I made my aim screen name you know 12 years ago there's a lot less people using the internet you know now like if you sign up for a gmail account it's like you gotta, think, you gotta think hard man yeah, you gotta think hard you gotta be real creative yeah so inevitably you get like you know Jason Mraz 66 12,000 you know whatever it is <laughs> 12,000 one one two three dash three three four S seven four <laughs> Two by know. four by seven, shit. Yeah, you don't know. Yeah, you don't yeah. Know. Actually, I have like you know, you can't use your normal ones. You got to use the normal one plus a one, and then sometimes the password is different. And it's like, mm -hmm. God, I hate this. Mm -hmm. I can't wait until the future where like like your iPhone, where you can just unlock everything with your fingerprint, you know, or Android, you know, mm -hmm. Samsung phone. Mm -hmm. Like, computer, why the aren't future. you there yet? The future. The future. All right, enough uh, rambling. Let's move on to the lightning round. We got a lot of lightning round to talk yeah, about. Yeah, at least I think seven, six or seven like that, something yeah. like that. Uh, but the first lightning round song is by uh, the girls from A Pink with Remember. A Pink. A Pink. A Pink. A Pink had a string of songs that I was like, hot damn. Well, I was like, Bruno Mars. And I was like, hot Whoa. damn. Damn. I was there with you. Yeah. Of we, course you were there with me. We were like, hot we were like, damn. You know, honey, my, no, no, no. You know, we got the, the L-U-B-E. L-U-B-E love. Um, there's another song in the middle of that. Hmm. Isn't there another song in, in the middle of that that was also, I really liked? Possibly. Fuck, forgot. Doesn't matter. Aping recently. Eh. Eh. Um, and uh, their new song, Remember. Uh, yeah, not good. I just, I just really not didn't good. like it. Not I really good. didn't like it. Uh, the only reason that they're in the lightning round is because they're a pink, and we have to talk about them. But yeah. the song, the concept, uh, the dance, especially the dance, mm. were not very good. Yeah, I mean, I mean, of this course, everybody is like, oh man, of course, this is a throwback '90s throwback song, you know, SES and stuff like that. No, I liked SES. I liked Finkel. I liked that. And this is no. I mean, I, I didn't like that. You know, I never liked SES. I've never liked Finkel. Um, this sounded like there were so many sounds in this that I was like, I, I you know, when watching Reply 1997, they had had a lot of songs by like Sakis and, you know, G.O.D. that sounded Sakis. an awful lot like this, you know. I Sakis. And it's just, it's just not good, man. Um, like, you know, the, the worst crime is not that it's not good. The worst crime is just, it's it was boring. So boring. I was like, not entertained. It's so and from like a girl group that like was doing cute, but it was doing cute with such catchy songs, you know. Because sometimes cute can just be boring, you know. Like this. Like this. Um, so we're really sad, but you know, how is this a summer song? You know, like how yeah, is this a summer just release? Cause it, just because you're on a boat doesn't make it summer. Yeah, like sorry, but call up you know the dude you worked with for no 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 and. and uh, unless you're going to tell me that the same dude wrote this song, so, like, that would like, blow no. my mind. But, like, you should call no. up them dudes, right? Like, I know people hate on AOA, but, 
<laughs> you stick with what's good. You're brave, okay? Sarah. You stick with what's good <laughs> until it's no longer good, okay? Yeah. I mean, and, and, and AOA will drop Brave Sound soon enough, right? Once they get too big and they don't need to care about the quality of their songs anymore, yep. which is the sad truth in K-pop, but that's what happens. Uh, once they get big enough, they don't give no fucks. Um, Not even one. Then you can Girls' Generation it. Yeah. Or A-Pink it. Uh-huh. Or Girls' Day it. Um, or any other big name group right now. Well, big name. Try it. Big name girl group. Um, Star uh, it. I mean, a lot of people. I mean, I still... Like likes a star, but I still thought that was a little like Sistari. didn't put a lot too much effort into that. I didn't think, um, and even AOA, as much as I like that song, it was still just more of the same, you know. Like, I don't know, I think I'm talking about both sides of my mouth. It's like it's more of the same, but then it's also like we try something different and it sucked ball. So, you know, yeah. hey, do you? This wasn't it though. <laughs> this wasn't it though. Uh, moving on, of course, uh, we talk about boy groups, right? You know, we talk about Goss 7. Right, so let's talk about Infinite um, with their new song, Bad. Bad. Um, now, Infinite, like, you remember, I, I think I they talked about this two episodes ago. Uh, Infinite Manager or PR rep, they're they're tapping our podcast. Yeah. Actually, I, I don't think we mentioned in the podcast because I was like, shit, I should have mentioned the podcast oh. last episode. But I did tweet out to the you know, handful of people that, <laughs> that read my tweets, which is like, um, two weeks ago there was... Uh, Kind of a K-pop dance video that went viral group, yeah. by a, a girl, a cover dance group called Bambino, yeah. and they they used a 360 degree camera yeah. to record their thing. Which means if you watch it using Chrome or an Android phone, you yeah. can actually move the scene around like it's a 3D image and focus and, on like and, and you can watch on whatever you want in this 360 degree view. Yeah, it's fucking awesome. It right. is future. It is so yeah. fucking future. Like, I've seen that stuff in, like, tech videos where people are trying it out. I've seen some stuff uh, for other things. But this was the first time, like, a K-pop dance. I'm like, every K-pop group should be trying to be the first group to use 360 VR. And, and Infinite kind of And did. Infinite kind of listened. They were like, oh, shit, we should use 360 VR, but we don't have time to shoot an actual one. So that we're going to post-process it. To look like it's 360. Like it works in 360, but it's spliced. It's, it's really just two different scenes, like one on one end and one on the other end. Um, and yeah, you can kind of scroll through it, but it's not remotely close to the it's awesomeness not. that was that Bambino video. No. Um, I think if you just search Bambino 360 VR, you'll find that video. Yeah. Um, but like, you know, that's a step in the right direction. You know, I'm really, yeah. I'm really happy that they did it. Mm-hmm. I, I like, I swear to God, the first K pop group. Probably a girl group, right? Yeah. But the first K-pop group to use, it, like, instead of the normal practice video, yeah. if you shoot a 360 practice video where you can watch all six of the girls, watch nine of the girls, you know, you watch it nine times. Like, effectively. Like, you're like, holy moly. Like, and the Bambino one had, like, different angles. They were like, you can watch it from eye level. You can watch it from butt level. <laughs> like, yeah, you can watch, like, there was so you much know. you can do. I don't know. So, uh, anyways, but the song... Um, I thought the song, like, I thought the chorus was actually pretty catchy. Yeah, the chorus is very catchy, um, I think. You know, like the the bad, bad, bad girl. I thought I thought yeah. that was actually pretty good. But the rest of the song falls into that K-pop trap of it being just all genericness. Yeah. It, it, I'm like, don't... Like, I'm not saying they, they sang bad enough, saying I that the song was yeah. bad. I just thought that the chorus was the standout yeah. highlight. Yeah, um, that's exactly what I want to say. And but it wasn't good enough for me to yeah. to enjoy the whole song as a as a whole. Yeah, I don't think the song is horrible, but I think the chorus is the is the saving grace of the song, and the chorus isn't powerful enough to carry the rest of the song. Yeah. Is how I describe yeah. it. Um, but I have new respect, of course, for uh, for uh, what's his name, Sungyu, uh, yeah. because he was in the Genius, and that actually, really, he's, I actually, you know. You like him. Yeah, I like him. Yeah, I like that uh, guy. Which is the problem. That's the problem with with I, we talked about last week, which is like once I start watching that variety so, show stuff, like I just get so biased. biased. I feel awful. Uh, but it didn't make me like the song more. Uh, yeah. Uh, so I feel like I, I have at least control on that. Yeah, half half. Um, but I like, I like, he's a cute dude. He's, he got a tiny ass eyes, and it's like <laughs> it's kind of cute. Um, I feel like that. Yeah. yeah. It's weird. It's weird. It's like. 
I was like, why? How is this guy so cute with these tiny ass eyes? I don't understand. Uh, yeah. But he, he is. Yeah. Um, all right. Well, well, our next song is by another boy group, uh, Beast Batoost with Gotta Go to Work. Gotta Go to Work. This is the, I think it's been, I don't know if it's been a whole year, but it's been Beast. a long time since the last Beast Beast's last song or last double release was that Instagram, right? Beastagram? Was that I think the so. One? But I think that was in 2014. I'm, I'm pretty sure this is the first song in 2015. Probably. Which, I mean, it's, it's almost August now. So yeah, like, that, it's that's been, been out a while. A while. Um, I mean, how did you feel about this being the first release in a while? I don't know if it's... This This doesn't sound anything like Beast. Um, their voices are so high uh, for once. <laughs> uh, the, the fal- everyone is doing falsetto in it. And obviously, I like falsetto, so I'm kind of inclined to like it a little bit more. I thought it was a pretty good song, mm. but but beyond it being a good song, I didn't really have anything else to kind of grab at it, um, except for that everybody kind of is starting to look more different and more different and more different. It's kind of weird. The uh, Beast members? Yeah. Like before, they kind of had like a certain kind of style that they all used to have. Mm. That you could be like, oh, that's the guy from Beast. But now it's just like, are you in Beast? Yeah. I mean, except for uh, what's his face? That always, the vampire dude, dude mm-hmm. always looks totally different. Um, what's his name? Hyun, Hyun Song? No, that's wrong. Hyun Sub. Yeah. Okay. Hyun-sup. Hyun-sup. Okay. I don't know. Yeah, maybe. He had like the a guy, nose ring in this video. Yeah, the guy who does the Fobby Fobby who's in Troublemaker. Yeah, the Troublemaker. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, he always himself? looks totally different himself. than everybody else, but um, uh, no, like I thought, um, you know, I wasn't ever like a gigantic fan of Beast until like I really listened to. Uh, again, they have this like chunk of songs that I was like bang 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 or bang bang bang, and I was yeah. like, oh my gosh, and I think I'm, I, yeah, Amy, good luck. Good, Good luck, uh, Shadow. Shadow. Yeah, this is some um, good songs. Shadow. There's Shadow, one before Shadow. that that I really liked. Luck, Can't remember the baby, name. Good luck to you. Um, it's, it has a Korean name. They're like dancing in in like New York or something. <sighs> Doesn't come to mind. Doesn't matter. Uh, it was a, a long time. It was like two, three years ago. Yeah. Um, but you know, recently Beast has been. You know, Good Luck was good, I mm-hmm. guess. But again, I think Good, uh, good Luck was. Chorus was really good, mm-hmm. but the rest of it was like, eh. um, but I don't know. I, I thought the song, the song definitely was better the second time I heard it. Yeah. The first time I heard it, I, I didn't really like it at all. It does get better with more um, listens, I feel like. Yeah. Uh, but again, like I, I still associate Beast with like some dancing and some mm-hmm. like some stuff like that. And like, there's no dancing. Um, and the message of the song is. Is the complete really opposite of the GOT7 video. It was exactly what we describe most Koreans like, which is uh, the girl kind of want, <laughs> wants Basically, everything. Yeah. And the she, guy. Yeah, she wants designer bags. She wants fancy cars. She wants, wants all his trips. attention. She wants, And she wants all his attention and, and all time. His time. And he's like, baby, I got to go to work. If you want these fancy ass things, I have to go to work. Yep. You have to sacrifice if you want one thing, you can't get everything. And then she's just like, no, I'm going to pull you back in. Yep, and he's like, can't no, go to work. I'm going to get fired. Yeah. Don't you understand? And then he works his ass off while she just sits at home. Like the moral. Like this is literally the moral of the story is he just works his ass off. Terrible. And like literally at the end, Terrible. they show him jumping over hurdles. Yeah. Right? To get home. Uh, to give her designer bags and designer things. Yeah. And there's like songs... And it's like, a happy ending. There's like the Western, end. there's Western pop songs that are just like, man, I shouldn't have focused so much on getting money. I lost my girl. Like the song that really comes to mind is Usher, Simple Things, and he's like, it's the simple things in life we forget. Mm. And uh, you hear her talking, uh, but you don't, you're not listening or something like that. And then this song is like the opposite. It's just like, don't listen to her. Just go yeah. make money, buy designer bags. Should be happy. I mean, maybe the the actual lyrics, maybe the whole music video was lampooning that. I don't know. But from what I got, and especially the music video, not a great, not a great uh, message there, Beast. Um, at least for international audiences. I mean, that is the default message in Korea. I mean, that's yeah. that's what all the dramas are like. That's what all that, mm-hmm. that's, that's literally what. Um, although I think it, it's kind of changing. It's changing. There's it, it's really not. 
it's still pretty bad for Western standards. It's still but. quite popular, just like it is in America. Like that's popular in America as well. But True. it's slowly changing. True. 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 Not, not, I mean, not every Korean couple is like that. Yeah. No. Actually, I want to say majority of Korean couples are probably not like that. Mm. But weirdly, I think that's even though they're not like that, I think they're that's still loudest. what they want. That's yeah. still like what if they were to be like the dream. Mm. You know, the dream is I want a guy who will do everything. That the dream, me. boys, designer the, bags and free time. And that's true for some girls in America too. You know. Yeah. Um, you know, there's definitely a lot of girls that I can think of that are like, that's their dream is, you know, designer bags, trips and love yeah, like, people like Lil Wayne, right? I mean, like, yeah. you know, what I can do people like Drake, you know, Kanye, I mean, whatever. Like Kanye ain't going to sit down and like read a book to your children, you know, like Kanye yeah. ain't like, you know, taking care of you while you're sick, you know, yeah. he's uh, not going to make a chicken soup. You know? Yeah. He's going to make, right. he's going to order somebody else to get you some of that, like some of that soup. He doesn't even know it's chicken yeah, soup. Why, why he looks in the mirror at himself. Yeah, why, <laughs> have you seen those gifts of like, yeah. of Kanye West where like he smiles yeah. and then but he's looking at a and, picture of himself. No, no, no. Or like, it's a, like, or a signed photo, a signed photo that's like. To Kanye, my biggest fan, is shit like that. See, those are no, those are fake photos. I'm yeah, talking about is. these are real. Like, like maybe he's at like a concert, or maybe he was at a basketball game. Yeah, and like he's laughing, and then right when the camera switches to him, he's like, he's like, <clears throat> and he just doesn't laugh. Wow, like it's 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 hilarious because he's like he's like <laughs> I'm a normal person. I'm Kanye. Camera, now. like once the camera, he's like I got to put that Kanye persona on. He's just like. <gasps> Kanye motherfucker, you know? Uh, and then I heard that the reason he does that is because he received, like, from one of his idols, you know, like, he received advice, which was, like, 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 a badass doesn't smile. Huh. So, like, that's why on camera and on, you know, pictures, he just doesn't yeah, smile. Yeah, he used to smile all the time. Um, I miss that Kanye. Yeah, you should find those gifts because they're hilarious. Because it's, like, it's totally, like, <laughs> it's an act all alone, you know? Like, ha 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 ha! I'm laughing, Kanye. Ha ha! <laughs> I'm serious. I'm Kanye serious. Now. Sad, Kanye. Um, all right, well, moving on to serious and stuff. Not just kidding. Uh, Crush, one of Josh's uh, favorite dudes, uh, featuring Zias Co. Zias Co. Is that how he says Zia it? Zias Co. Yeah. Oh, Zias Co. Tough Cookie himself uh, with their song Oasis. This song, I don't know how I feel about the song. It is. It has no chorus. Um, it's just all... Uh, it's just all intermediate. All... Uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah, as I said, you know, to repeat myself in private, right? Like, yeah. uh, you know, Sistars, Shake It. This is like the equivalent of that, but for this genre, which is like yeah. 80% of it is filler and like intermediary like yeah. pump ups. Like the intermediary isn't bad, but the song has no... It has no, like, no discernible, movement. like... It has no movement. Uh, it has no arrangement. It's just... It's really all the same. And what's crazy is that this song is charting really well in Korea. Yeah, people really, really like this song. Yeah. But again, then again, like, IU also... That one acoustic mm. song charted really high, and mm. I don't know why the hell... Which is crazy to me, because I do watch Producer, right? We yeah. we, 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 we talked about Producer, uh, you know, in previous... For Drama Fever. And, mm. like, there's another IU song in that... That is really fucking good. Oh, like, I know what you're talking about. It's like the one that they use for all the big moments and like at the end. And it's like this song is feel really good. But the one that charted number one was not that one. And I was like, I don't huh. I don't understand. Like, is something wrong with us? I don't mm-hmm. understand. And then we're like, no, people really like IU. Yeah. But yeah. I, I am almost finished watching a Producer. And like, I mean, you, you didn't, you only watched like a little bit of it. Right? Yeah, and I stopped. Like, I really like it, man. Like, it's, like, the most natural... Like, I know it's boring for a lot of people, and it didn't do really well because I think a lot of people think it's boring, mm. but it is one of the most natural Korean dramas you can possibly think of. Huh. Like, the like it's totally different genre, but, like, the reason I like Reply 1997 so much mm. is because it was very natural mm. in its weird way. I know Right? Like, no. they, they acted like teenagers for the yeah. most part, right? And that's kind of how teenagers, like, they don't understand feelings yet. Yeah. And it's hard. Like, this is really natural of, like, a dumbass kid who falls in love with an older woman yeah. and kind of dots on him and it's kind of feisty and, like... He like, doesn't know what to do. It kind of happens. Yeah. I mean, yeah, there's some stupid Korean drama shit, but, like, like moments, yeah. it's one of the most kind of naturally, like, 
this a feels to B. real. Yeah. yeah. Um, I mean, there's some issues with it, but uh, I mean, there's compared comparatively to all the billions of other Korean dramas I've seen, like I thought it was really natural. I really liked it. Really good. Um, so check that out, Drama Fever. Yeah. Um, but Crush, I mean, this you might like it. Um, <laughs> I I kind of like I feel like there's better don't. there's way yeah. better versions of this song out there. Yeah. Like made by Wester. <laughs> <laughs> but I honestly I kind of think so. Like well, I think this yeah. is a very like there's a there's a lot of, there's a very heavy DJ Mustard influence in this song. There's a lot of yeah, yeah, like in this song, right? Mm. Um and then you know, Ziak Ziako comes in and he does a Zico thing, but then there's like a little part where he's like, I'm gonna try to rap totally differently, and like another person. I don't know if he raps like that in other Block B stuff or Tough Cookie, because I've only heard that once and I killed myself. It's kind of like screech rapping that like OG, like Mako kind of like, uh-huh. like that trend started doing it. And then like uh, uh, the guys who sing Ichima, like Ichima, like oh. scar, scar, scar. Like yeah, it's, it's, it's very much like that. Like, like he gets kind of hoarse with his rap. Yeah. Like he gets really, really, really high. And it's like, okay, Zico, you're up here. You're really high, and I want you to just bring it down. Just bring it down. It's kind of like puberty rapping, yeah. kind of. Um, so I mean, I can't hit the high notes. It's just talking. I'm rapping normal now. Like, yeah, Hi, I'm happy, Kanye. Now I'm regular, Kanye. <laughs> Yeah, it's a little, it's a little strange. Yeah. Um, uh, but all right. Well, moving on, we have a uh, super junior. Oh, wait, I said you say it. Sure, turn. Super junior mm-hmm. with a devil. Run, 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 run. And I didn't even like that song at all. But guess what? Five years later, I can still remember that song. Am I gonna remember party? I don't know. P a r t y. See, the problem is I can remember that. I hate myself. I hate myself. All right, uh, Super Junior. Super Junior. Uh, I actually really like this song. Um, it, it's it's done very well. I think it's arranged and produced very, very well done. Um, I don't know how long standing it will be, but I'm mm. sure if I hear it on the street, I'll be like, oh, this is a good song. Who sings this song? Oh, it's a Super Junior song. And the music video, uh, I think they did a really good job uh, implementing kind of like the movie posters or trailers like into the movie like they kind of stop it in like a pose where it's kind of a, it would be an amazing way to introduce a new gro- a new group yeah. with their names it would be it's amazing like I it has really like, like all it. their names in the movie posters and you're just yeah. kind of like we know who they are they've been around mm-hmm. for forever you don't really need to do this for them but if yeah. you did that for like uh, one of the new, Any new groups group. yeah that i mean copy them Copy like not now. only not only do they have the name that like slows down and freezes for a little bit, and it's like see their that's face. the dude and that's his face. Like it's it's so smart. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, I don't think I like the song as much as you do. <coughs> like, I was never a big fan of of Super, Super Junior, Junior yeah. but like I can understand why they were popular back mm-hmm. in the day. Yeah. Right? They got simple moves. Anybody can sing it. Anybody can dance it. Right? They Very were the poppy. the the male version of the Wonder Girls. Right? In that way. Um, but they don't make songs like that anymore. And I feel like, while I've kind of liked some of their most recent stuff, like, song-wise, mm-hmm. like, I still... Can't really get into like, them as I much. can't really get it. But I also think, like, I kind of want them to take this new sound and add in, like, remember their roots. Remember, like, oh, we got popular because we had really simple, catchy dances that everybody could dance. Like... What about the... I like, that was... Closer. Hey, mama, sit down. But that, that was just... the. What's the rest of the song? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I only remember that part. Um, but, but I will say that that was a lot closer. Yeah. And the video was hilarious in its yeah. own way. Um, this is actually kind of like the serious version of that video, really. Yeah. Where it like follows each person. They each get like a little thing. Um, so I don't want to say... like I, I thought, you know, it was surprisingly decent. Mm. Um, like, it's a terrible bias, but like... In my head, Super Junior is kind of like um, a blah to me. Yeah. So every time they have a new song, and I'm like, eh, like that's a pretty big thing. I'm just so surprised that they can keep so relevant uh, with having their members go in and out of the military. Mm. Like, they they haven't performed as like a whole group in a really long time. Sure. And like people really don't seem to care. 
which is pretty amazing, but at the same time, not amazing, because EXO kind of does the same thing. Like, they haven't performed as tall for a long time, and no one really cares. Their popularity is still sky high. Well, they are not 12. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. No. You're right. Um, so, in other words, if you can get 12 people in your group, you don't need you all don't of them. You don't need them after you, <laughs> you use them. You don't need all of them. Um, all right, moving on to uh, uh, one of those songs that we kind of, we really do like, right? Don't Guy rappers, say. girl singers, and that's by a, a hip hop group called Elufant, uh, featuring So You from Sistar with their song "Only When You're Bored." Are you doing the shake it? Yeah. <laughs> what are you doing right now? Uh, I didn't know if you're doing shake it or got seven. Um, no, this one's got seven. Well, it's a different oh, hands out thing. Oh, yeah. Um, uh, Elephant. I actually I've heard of the name, but mm -hmm. I didn't really. Actually, I heard the name and I was like, I thought they were a singing group. Um, no, no, no. It turns out they're a hip hop group. Um, but uh, I actually thought the song. Was, I mean, I thought the song was pretty good. I really like um, the song, but I I feel so you really carries it. The rapping is mm. kind of mediocre. Yeah, I mean, every episode, you know, we'll have one of these songs where, like, we put it in the lightning round, guy, singer, girl, you know, like, we just had one with... We had uh, two last Sleepy week. Sleepy and... Yeah. Um, Song, Song Jiun. Song Jiun. Uh, we had one with Yuk Ji Dam and a girl. Oh, yeah. Uh, that was the, that was actually the one from last week. Oh, uh, last episode. But, like, you know, here's another here's another week. If you like that kind of music, I think you should give this one a, a shot. Like one every week. Yeah. Um, but I like, I really like these kinds of songs. Like, yeah. These are the kinds of songs that like, I like to walk to. Yeah. Because it's kind of happy. I just kind of walk. Yeah. The like music it. video is kind of weird. It has neither Elephant or So You in it. Mm -hmm. But it does have a very attractive model. It's so attractive, you looked her up personally. Yeah, I looked her up. I was like, who is this model? No. And then actually she was in Maxim, and she had a lot of very provocative photo shoots. I mean, yeah. the video is kind of provocative. Very um, provocative. Face isn't my thing, but she does have a nice everything very else. provocative. For sure. And we're not provocative in the, like, bleeding watermelon, right? <laughs> like, oh, <laughs> whoa. That's not provocative. That's just fucked up. Thanks, Steven. Now I connect those two images Dude, together. Dude, we never even really talked about the Pride Stellar me, video man. where, like, they're dripping red blood on Barbie dolls. Hell yeah, yeah, yeah. What is, was that? Is it Stellar? Like, Carrie? Is that Carrie? Like, is that, what kind of blood is, is that supposed to be period blood? I don't know. Is it supposed to be all becoming a woman? And, like... Know. And like that, you know, I don't know. I'm not a woman. I don't know. Uh, all right, well, last one. Let's talk about the last our one. Our last song of the episode, our very long episode, almost two hours long, is by an indie band called uh, Hyuko. Hyuko? Uh, I'm not sure. It's romanized here. I think it's Hyuk. 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 Oh. Hyuk. Oh? Yeah, I think so. Hyuk. Oh? Yeah. That, that would make more sense. Hyuk. Yeah. Oh. Uh, with Comes and Goes. Yeah. Uh, now, this video actually came out in May. A long time ago. Uh, a couple months ago. Yeah. Um, and the reason we're talking about it is just because, you know, if you're not living in Korea, you don't check the, the melon charts every day. Mm -hmm. um, you definitely haven't heard of these people. But this song We've is killing never heard it. it. Yeah, this song has been number one uh, for a while. And we're talking about number one beating Girls' Generation, beating, you know, all the Big Bang, you know, beating, you know, all the Sistar beating AOA, beating everybody. Um and they actually, I mean, they were a very tiny indie band that nobody even in Korea really cared about. Um, this isn't like one of those things where everybody in Korea knows about them and nobody internationally, like nobody knew about them. Um, but they got paired up somehow uh, with uh, I Infinity Challenge every year does a very special thing. Like where, a song contest. Yeah, something. they, you know, there's six hosts on that is it six hosts on that yeah, show six characters or whatever um and show. each one of them kind of gets their own song and a lot of the times those songs or at least half of them usually chart very Our well hits they're very big hits hits um, and so this year they haven't even made a song yet they just paired them up with one of the people from infinity challenge with this indie band called hyoko and like people discovered it and was like holy shit this song is this song good is amazing. um seriously though this song is good yeah. Like, if you can get past, like, sloppy Konglish or sloppy English sentences, this song is for you. It's got funk. It's got guitar. It's got great singing. 
Uh, the music video is just kind of whatever. It's just. Yeah, like, I mean, it's it's really an indie group, right? Like yeah. it's made to to feel and look like it's in the yeah. '90s, like VHS. But the song is so good. Yeah, you'll you'll probably hear about them a lot more, you know, if you paid really pay attention to the Korean scene. But uh, you know, you probably don't because you're listening to this podcast. Yeah. And uh, I really think you know you should check them out. Like if you if you like indie band, like this is a real indie band. You know, yeah. saying a pop indie band. Yeah. Well, I guess they're kind of poppy. Like yeah. you know, they're not like I don't even know what an indie band is in America anymore, man. Yeah. But uh, they spell the name H Y U K O H mm. comes and goes. Yeah. Um. I I just want to say like after this podcast, after we're done, this is the song I want to listen to again right away. Uh, it just goes to show how much I like this song. You really really need to go listen to it. Yeah. I don't care if it's your style or not. I I think you should give it a chance. Yeah. To to be like you know sometimes we're like all up in K pop and K pop and K pop. Sometimes you forget that Koreans make other types of music. Yeah, Korean people make a lot um, of different types of music. And this is a really, really good example mm-hmm. of of uh, other types of music. That, mm-hmm. that That's really good. Yeah. Um, and they have a, a couple of other songs that are charting very, very high. Um, so I think you should give them a shot. I mean, it is a very Korean-y song, though. Like, it's yeah, kind of sad sounding. You know, it's kind of But hey, you, know, it's slow. you might like it. Hey, just give it a shot. Yeah, don't you don't need to listen to Aping Remember again. Yeah. You don't need to listen Ever. to Party again. You know, Ever. you really Ever don't again. need to. Um, give give Yoko a chance, you know. Or just give God Seven a chance and just listen to Yeah, we'll give God Seven a chance. Yeah. Um, you know, all six million of you that, <laughs> that, that happened. Seven happened. million of you. Seven million. Um, all right, well that's it. Josh has been really fidgety for the last thirty minutes. I'm so tired. Um, I've been drinking sh- I've been drinking four out of four days, like heavily. Um, yes, because this past weekend I went to Mud Festival with a bunch of my friends and that is just an excuse to just drink all weekend. And today we had our teacher's trip, which is the last day of the semester. So all the teachers go on a trip and get smashed. And the excuse of I got smashed yesterday doesn't really pertain, uh, doesn't hold a lot of water with them. Uh, so I came straight to do this podcast right after my teacher's meeting, which was which ended at like 9.30. And I got here right away, ate some McDonald's, and I'm just ready to just die. And Steven is running on like two hours of sleep. So we really just... I didn't drink or anything. I just didn't shh, sleep. Shh, <laughs> I just didn't plan my shh, sleep very well. Shh, don't, don't tell him. Just, <laughs> I was busy watching The Genius. Oh, okay. Okay. He's busy but, watching The Genius. Yeah, but The Genius, really, go watch it. It's really good. Yeah, we never really talked about what it was, but, like, I think we talked about it enough that we should get, like, honestly, I never heard of it. It's a yeah. very, it's on, a, it's on like, one of the cable networks of Korea. Yeah. So, like, you know, if the show gets 1% viewership, that's a pretty damn good thing. Yeah. Um, and, you know, if you are a manga reader and you've read Liar Game. Liar Game. Um, it is, like, the real-life Human Ver- kind of human version of it. it. It's not exactly the same because it's not people don't die. Like people don't die, and you don't, there's not a super genius that yeah. like these are real. They're still smart people. Like they still go after like Harvard graduates and and or people are smart in all like different writers, kind of a- yeah. areas. But like uh, it, you know, they, you put them into a room. They do like competitions that like there's a way. If you're really smart, you can think of like you can break the, the game, the, bre- the best way to win. And it, they, you, there's, they got a, a lot. Like, it sounds dumb. I think it sounds really but dumb. Watch, but it's watch fucking episode. awesome. It's called The Genius. Uh, just just Google it. If you type in to Google <sighs> The Genius Korean English variety. sub, you, you'll go. You'll find a website. Yep. May or may not be legal. I don't know. You can watch. There's three full seasons. It's on the fourth season right now. It's um, really good. It's amazing. Like, if you're a video game player, like, like one of the best... Or actually, in season two, yeah. two of the best like StarCraft players of all time. That that actually is the coolest part to me. Is like people, everybody knows these StarCraft two pros. Like, yeah. I mean, I knew StarCraft was a big thing in Korea, right? Yeah. But like, when everybody's like, "Dude, you're the emperor!" Holy fucking shit! Yeah. Like, I used, to, I grew up watching you. I was like, "That's fucking weird, man." It's not like we're like, "Shit, man!" I grew up watching. Like you know, Kobe Bryant, Dyrus, you know, yeah. like you yeah. know, if you're if you pay attention to League, oh yeah. Um, but anyway, you should give it a shot uh, after watching Running Man, um, of course. But uh, yeah, 
that's it, I think, for this episode. Yeah. Again, we want to thank everybody who uh, listens to this podcast every single episode. Um, we do want to remind you, I should have mentioned at the top, but I didn't. We do want to remind you that both Josh oh, yes. and I will be going back to America in the next two weeks, uh, which means we will not have an episode probably for about a month. Yeah. Um, for a while. Probably a month. Yeah. Um, so pretty much we're missing one episode because uh, yeah. we'll both be in America. Yeah. So, um, you know, hopefully all the big all the big groups have come out. You know, the summer is kind of over. Yeah. Um, so there will not be an episode in, uh, in two weeks. It'll probably be four weeks. Uh, but, you know, we're going to be in America. Mm-hmm. Hard to do. Hard to do. I mean, it wouldn't be hard if I like I could bring my whole computer home, but fuck that shit. That's hard to do, Steve. Oh, you're right. I mean, I could... No, yeah, you're right. Um, but hopefully, after we come back from America, you know, maybe we'll have some upgrades? Maybe. maybe. If we we got to talk about it a little bit more. Maybe. Maybe we'll we might have one mic each if we can get Finally. that working. Finally. Um, Fun. So you could look forward to us coming back. Up. Yeah, we have some things planned. Yeah. So until next time, maybe in one month. month. Bye. Bye. Bye.